And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Hallman Automotive pregame show. Tommy Wood here along uh, Jeff, with Jeff Coburn as we get ready for volunteer football right here on WAXC-TV. We have made our way back home for week number five as the Tallahassee Tigers come to town. And, Jeff, you got to admit, this is a huge game for both teams. It really is, Tommy. Tallahassee comes in here three and one on the year, including two region wins in the first half of the season. If they could post their third region victory here tonight, they'd grab the upper hand in the race with only three games left to play. But you know they're going to come in here. They know what's at stake. They're going to treat this kind of like a region championship game here tonight. Central Clay, they're looking to rebound from their second loss of the year. It took place last Friday at Leeds. But you know what? The most important thing right now, you got to start thinking about playoffs. The Vols are still 1-0 in region play. A region title, well, it's still a good possibility. It's well within their reach. But this game tonight can go a long way in determining who will still be taking the field in the postseason. And, Jeff, you look at this. This should be a great matchup. Well, one thing I'm looking forward to seeing, Tommy, is this Vol defense go up against a Talis, the offense that comes in here tonight, averaging a little over 35 points a ball game. Last week, the Central offense made some positive strides in that game against Leeds. But one thing they've got to do, they have got to do, is take care of the football. You know, four turnovers tonight like they had last week, and it can make a really tough go of this ball game. We had a good shower earlier this afternoon, starting to clear off now. Beautiful sunset in the distance. When we come back, we're going to take a closer look at both the Tigers and the Vols, and some of the players that could play a huge role in this game tonight as we roll toward kickoff on the Hallman Automotive pregame show. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful, Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom. Cabinets Direct. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen in Hackneyville is serving up some good old-fashioned cooking. From their famous fried catfish to delicious chicken fingers, pork chops, hamburger steaks, and even prime cut steaks, as well as sandwiches. Don't forget about their daily lunch specials for that quick, good down-home lunch every Tuesday through Friday. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen makes it so good, you'll think Mama's in the kitchen. So load up the family and go see Miss Kitty and Tommy for the best food at affordable prices in Hackneyville. Call 256-329-3111. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396-5. Five, six, three, two. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. Harris Plumbing and Electric, just off the Ashland Square, has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256-354-5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics. 
We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right. You buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And we have one of the greatest selections to choose from. We have Chevrolet, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram. We got it all. So you come see us right here at Clay Automotive and experience the new Clay Way. And welcome back to Hallman Automotive pregame show. Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn. We are back at Volunteer Stadium for Week 5 action. A huge 5A Region 3 showdown as Tallahassee takes on the balls. And, Jeff, let's talk a little bit about that ball offense. Even though they only scored seven points last week, you and I talked, and we feel like they did make some progress. They did, Tommy. I thought they made a lot of good positive strides and, and moved the ball well. The turnovers just uh, absolutely killed some drives. But I think we saw some guys step up and run the football that could really take the load off Jalen Lyles later on in the season. I thought JoJo Staples ran with a lot of authority. Uh, you talk about Malik Dark. Ran hard, especially late in the game when he got in that little bit of a rhythm. The major problem, again, was those four turnovers. The offense just continued to shoot themselves in the foot. And you know this coaching staff has addressed those problems this week. They want to stress to these guys, you can't win ball games turning the ball over. You know, defensively, the Vols played hard once again. And, you know, we talk about Peyton Reynolds, it seems like every week. But that defense last Friday night was facing a Leeds team that may be one of the most explosive you're going to find in the state of Alabama. But they really never were able to sustain a drive against this Vol D. Explosive, certainly, but one of the fastest guys I've seen play football in a long time with their quarterback. But uh, you talk about Peyton Reynolds, he is the epitome of volunteer football. Plays with all the heart and determination every Friday night, and that's what we saw from a lot of these guys the last couple of weeks. They've really come out, they put forth the effort, they've worked hard during the week, and uh, you know the, they've really improved on their attitude, and that's got to carry over into tonight against this Tallahassee squad. Because this Tallahassee squad is also very explosive. They are led by quite a different running back, but still a powerful running back in Brandon Baines, averaging 291 yards a ball game. He's already over the 1,000-yard barrier, posted 392 and five touchdowns against Talladega a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, this guy can get it done very strong. You're not going to arm tackle Brandon Baines. Well, he is. The, he's the real deal, Tommy, at 5'9", 195 pounds. And you talk about all of his yards. He's not a finesse-type runner. He's not one of these guys that's constantly trying to get the edge. He loves to get his meat right between the tackles. And uh, one of these guys that just yards after contact is what makes this man so special. He's just a hard, strong, powerful runner. You've got to be technique-wise when you come up to tackle him, wrap him up, bring him down because if you just try to arm tackle him or knock him down, this young man's going to hurt you. Very strong lower bodies. I had a chance to watch him on film a little bit this week. And uh, again, a lot of folks thought they had him down. He's able to scoot through a little arm tackle and he's gone for about 60 yards. So he's going to be the main focus of this volunteer defense tonight. We are moments away from kickoff. Central Clay taking on Tallahassee. It's a big Class 5A Region 3 showdown here at Volunteer Stadium. This is Vols Football coming your way next right here on WAXC TV. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too. And Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. It's football season and the Tide is ready to roll again. Bama fans, make sure you have everything you need to show your Tide pride. Bama wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg has it all. Polo coaches shirts, game day t-shirts, hats, watches, autograph memorabilia, Daniel Moore prints and home goods. Bama wear is also the original home of the popular Bama girl t-shirts and has plenty of Tide stuff for the Bama ladies including houndstooth purses, dresses, raincoats and more. So whether you're gearing up to show your Tide pride at home or the game, there's only one place to go. Bama wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg. You can also get your Tide gear online at BamaWear.com. Com. Roll Tide. How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. Hey, coming right now, 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all new Sarah Honda, Selicaga. You come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Coming right now, folks, one example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Silicaga, you come and see us. 
the best Mexican dining experience around is found at Monte Albon Mexican Restaurant. Real authentic Mexican cuisine and atmosphere awaits you at Monte Albon with great specials on popular dishes such as the new chimichanga with shrimp, only $10.99. Beef or chicken chimichanga specials for only $3.99. Choose from select lunch or dinner combinations. Buy one and get one half off. Want to celebrate your birthday? Get a free drink, meal, and dessert when you dine in. Two convenient locations on the Court Square in Ashland and on Highway 9 in Lionel to serve you. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 21 for top quality sales and top quality service to back it up, look no further than Chainsaw Sales and Service on Highway 9 in Goodwater. Get the best names in chainsaws, trimmers, and mowers. Steel. A leading brand in chainsaws and lawn equipment. Hustler. The top selling zero turn lawnmower. At Chainsaw Sales and Service, you not only get the best product available, you can count on Jackie and his staff to provide the best service around for all your small engine needs from parts to service. Contact Chainsaw Sales and Service at 256 839 66 Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. Are you having a hard time today filling that position that you have open? Are you out there today looking for that right career opportunity? At Onan Staffing Our Businesses People, we help motivate a job seekers and partnering companies grow and prosper by setting the staffing industry standard for strong employee relations and exemplary customer service. We believe employees are a responsibility, not a commodity. Start building your career today. We position job seekers in a variety of services. Let us help you today. Give us a call at Ona Staffing. And welcome back Captain to Volunteer Vinny. Stadium. Captain's meeting out at midfield for the Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center coin toss. Lake Martin Vein and Laser, and Laser Center, a full service Brandon vein Bain. treatment facility. For the volunteers uh, leading out there tonight, it looks like number 81, that is Dion Thomas. Number 55, Noah Leary. Also number 17, Evan Whitehead. And number 88, Tristan Taylor. As they meet out at midfield, Jeff, again, uh, the blue jerseys debuting tonight. Uh, when the school was put together the first year, it was red. Everybody said, wish we had a blue set, and tonight it comes to fruition. Well, looks good. It's got the red stripes on the shoulders, but more importantly for you and I, the numbers are clearly visible. We can see them up here, and uh, I, ever who done it done a good job. Yeah, and they look a little bit bigger on that yeah. uh, blue, so we've got a good view here. And uh, for folks watching at home, uh, this is not a replay of an Ole Miss and LSU game gone by. This is Central High School taking on Tallahassee, and of course Tallahassee dressed in the LSU purple and gold. Tallahassee wins the coin toss. They will receive the opening kickoff as they capitalize on the Lake Martin Vane and Laser Center coin toss. Jeff, does it surprise you? They want the football first. It really does. You know, you see a lot of teams. Well, I take that, but we, we saw Auburn last night take the ball when they won the toss. But uh, most teams like, especially on the road, they like to defer, get their defense out there and try to uh, set up some kind of field position. But Tallahassee, a lot of confidence in their offense. They want to get it to start the game. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. First off for the Tallahassee Tigers, Brad Whitaker, the quarterback. He is a sophomore at 5'9", 165. Keon Jones, the fullback, six foot two. 15 a senior and Brandon Baines the tough tailback 5'9 195 a senior one thing we will mention straight off this team will rely on the Notre Dame box right. at times that's going to be very deceptive a lot of as they call it on ESPN a lot of eye candy that uh, the defense for uh, the ball is going to have to be disciplined all night because this is going to show a lot of looks in the backfield Tevin Brooks a wide out 5'11 175 then across the front line really Jeff this was something that stood out to me the size, not as much as we've seen from some of the teams in the past. Justin Creamer, the senior center, six foot two oh five. The guards, Brantley Chandler, 5'8", 180, a senior. And Jake Baker, 6'1", 265, a sophomore. Then on the outside, the tackles, Adam Hammock, 6'3", 255, a senior. 
big guy out there, Zaries Rivers. He is 6'2", 295, a junior. Tight end, Jeremy Noah, 5'11", 175, a junior. And Romello Hooks, a 6'1", 185-pound senior. Jeff, taking a look at that defense, and let's mention right off, four starters not in the lineup tonight for the Vols. They include Lane Browning, a defensive tackle. Yeah, we're going to have to make some uh, adjustments as the game gets underway and see who actually plays, but we understand Lane Browning, the defensive tackle, is not going to play, so Noah Leary will more than likely step in there and fill that slot on the right side. It knows tackle DJ Denny, 6'255 pound senior. At one of the other tackles, Kobe Robinson, number 58, 5'11", 195 pound senior. Your defensive ends, Marcus Heflin, a junior, Bobby Carter, a junior. Your secondary, or your linebackers, rather, we talk about him every Friday night. That's Peyton Reynolds, a senior, 6'210 pounds, alongside Tyler Smith, a 5'5", junior, 175 pounds. Your corners are going to be Deion Drummond, a senior, and JoJo Staples, probably not going to play tonight. May see Marcus Heflin, uh, uh, Devin Flournoy probably see some action back there on the other side, but your safeties are going to be DJ Ford, 6'2", 185-pound junior, and Ladarius Zachary, a 5'10", 170-pound junior. Isaac Andrews with a talented forward kickoff from left to right. Brandon Baines standing deep for the Tigers as he awaits the kick from Andrews. Turned into a beautiful night for high school football. A little bit cooler each and every week, and it is a beautiful night to be at Volunteer Stadium. Andrews with a kick, short end over end kick, gonna hit and uh, be scooped up actually at the 20 yard line, 25 to the 30 yard line and then out to the 30, number 15, number 15 on the carry and that is gonna be Kobe, Kobe Skipper and it is Zach Horn on the stop for the Central Volunteers. And Tommy, you talk about the weather, a real big storm blew here about 3.30, 4 o'clock today, a lot of rain, but this field in great shape. It drains well, and as you mentioned, the temperatures down into the low 70s, upper 60s uh, to begin this game. Tallacy comes out, looks like they will move under center. That is Whitaker, now they'll shift to the Notre Dame box. The snap, gonna go to Baines, he'll go right side. Tries to turn the corner. They've got him there, and they'll wrestle him down, a gain of about a half yard. Peyton Reynolds on the stop, but also great play out there by D.J. Denny, and it looks like also from the bottom of the pile is going to be Deion Drummond. Yeah, Drummond's a corner out there. Didn't lose his containment, and that's one thing. Tallis is going to have a hard time is gaining the corner on this quick, fast defensive front for Clay Central. Second down and about nine yards to go for the Tigers. Just getting underway. Here on this beautiful Friday night. The box again, they'll snap it. Baines keeps it right side, gets around the corner and he'll be dropped there. We'll get across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Again, a fake on the inside, brought down by Whitehead over there on the far side. And Drummonds also comes up, brings up a third, and we'll call it four. Just a little run off a right tackle that time, as you mentioned, uh, Evan Whitehead getting one of his first starts here tonight, stepping up there and making the stop. Ball on the far hash, Tigers. Trying to pick up their initial first down of the night. It's been two carries by Baines. He's picked up six yards, again, leaving it with third and four. Staying with the box look. Dropping back, rolling to the near side. That is going to be Whitaker. Trying to dump it off, he does. The catch is made, and across the 40 to the 42-yard line goes number 19. And that Number is going to be Tally Whitaker. on the catch and good for a first down for Tallacy. Tommy Whitaker, a good job of just keep stringing that play out, buying some time, and allowed his receiver to get some separation from Marcus Heflin, who had dropped back in coverage that time, uh, let the receiver get underneath him. They throw it for a first down. First down for Tallacy. They'll move it out to the 43-yard line, split out. Two will go to the right. One comes to the left. Whitaker in the backfield, standing beside Hay uh, Baines. Motion man to the near side. They'll snap it, hand it off to Baines. He bounces it to the right side. Got a little bit of running room. Cuts inside midfield, 45-40. Breaks it down the far side. Face mask. A flag coming in, and I believe that's Baines into the end zone, but I believe that's going to be a face mask against the balls, and that play will stand. Yeah, I believe it might have been Ford that came up in the, from the safety position and tried to get him out there around the 36, 37 yard line, got a hand on the face mask, but they're going to decline that. Tommy, you talk about Brandon Haynes in the pregame, didn't know how fast he was, but you know he's just fast enough that time, just outrun the pursuit uh, to the pylon and gets a quick score for the Tallahassee. 57 yard touchdown run for Baines. And that will put Tallahassee on the board. 
Six to nothing after a big touchdown run. They're gonna, they're gonna step that off probably on the kickoff. Extra point coming up for the Tigers. That time he just cut it outside and like you said, uh, as we talked about in the pregame, just a tough runner. I mean, it's just hard to get him down and you're not gonna get him by grabbing that jersey. <coughs> and he goes into the end zone, extra point. Kicking it up is going to be uh, Ben Graham. His kick is up, and his kick is good. 7-0, Tallahassee with the early lead. And, Tommy, you talk about Baines. He's just a deceptive type ball carrier. Only 5-9, sometimes he gets lost behind the line of scrimmage, but so good at dipping that shoulder, just like he did then, made Bobby Carter miss at the point of contact. Once he got in the secondary, we didn't realize what kind of speed he had, but he outran everybody. He did, turned it down the far sideline, and. It was all she wrote. Tallahassee draws first blood, 7-0, 10-07 left in the first period. That's why they wanted the ball when they won the coin toss. They wanted to get out here and get some momentum going and, and really uh, put the volunteers in a little bit of a shock. Uh, they had got good positive yardage on uh, all four snaps of the ball that time and, and got the big touchdown run out of Baines. Malik Dark to return the kick. Graham to kick it off for Tallahassee. <laughs> Not really a strong leg uh, that I saw. Now, right. he may come and put it through the uprights right now, but everything I saw, this could uh, be very returnable. Something you don't see a lot in football nowadays, got the toe tied up. That, that reminds me of you. It does flash back, <laughs> doesn't it? And really short. I mean, he's only moving back about four yards, so not really a good running start. And he will directional kick to the far side. It's going to be picked up over there at the 20-yard line. 25, lowering the shoulder out to about the 27-yard line. It will be first down and 10 for the Volunteers there. Let's take a look at your Vol starters. JT Burns, the quarterback, 5'9", 140, a junior. Marcus Heflin, fullback, 5'8", 180, a senior. Jalen Lyles is the tailback, 5'10", 175. On the front line, you're going to see DJ Denny. He will be at center. The guards, Adam Milam and Justin Denny. Also, you got Trey Kidd and Adam Brand, uh, Adam Brown rather, and then Peyton Reynolds at your tight end. I backfield, back behind J.T. Burns. It is first down and 10. Peyton Reynolds will shift to the right side. They'll sweep it to the right. Jalen Lyles looking for a gap. Hit, bounce twice, goes to the left side, and he's not going to get anything. Good penetration up front. Look like number 72, Cedric Brown, and Samuel Ware in there to make the tackle for the Tigers. Actually, forward progress does give him about a yard and a half, but you see... Jalen Lyles, let's talk about Jalen a little bit, has had trouble really getting on track in the early season. This this run by Baines may yep. really get Jalen inspired and really want to show out here tonight too. So you, you know, got to think he's going to be running for everything because he doesn't want anybody to steal that spotlight. Jalen's shoulders are the majority of the load for this offense, and he's felt a lot of pressure but never really gotten a good rhythm in any of the previous four ball games. Three wide outs will come to the right, one goes to the left. Now Lyles will come to the near side and movement. That's going to cost the balls five. Somebody on the left side of the line, it might have been Trey Kidd that picked a hand up a little bit early, and that's going to cost him. That will be, on, like you said, on the left side. That moves it back five yards, and we talked about in the pregame, these are things this offense can't do. It's just so hard to overcome with the struggles they've had offensively. Tommy, they come in here tonight averaging 61 yards a game in penalty yards, and with an offense struggling like they've got, that's just giving yards away. Confusion now in the huddle. They're not sure who needs to be in there. And they're going to have to burn a timeout. We will take the timeout with them. 9.03 left here in the first period. Timeout's brought to you by Harris Plumbing and Electric. Everything you need from the floor to the ceiling and a whole lot more if you need appliances as well. Check them out at Harris Plumbing and Electric. We'll take this timeout and come back with more Vols football in just a moment. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right, you buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And on our pre-owned selection, we have the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles that we've ever had here at Clay Automotive. So you come pick you one out, you'll love it. And come experience the new Clay way. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products 
keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom, Cabinets Direct. Do you smoke or dip and want to quit but haven't been able to with conventional means? Try Vapor. It works. Highway 9 Vapor has hundreds of flavors of e-liquid from full and light flavor cigarettes to Cuban cigar flavor, even Dreamsicle, Blueberry Waffle, and many, many more. Visit Highway 9 Vapor online at highway9vapor.com. That's H-W-Y, the number 9, vapor.com. Call them at 256-252-8665 or stop by the store at 93119 Highway 9 in Lineville. Highway 9 Vapor. Stop smoking and start vaping today. Why pay more for name brand children's, boys, juniors, and Mrs. clothing when you can save big at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique in Sylacauga? A great selection of names like Polo, Abercrombie, Mud Pie, and more. Upsy Daisy has maternity clothing for expecting mothers and accessories like bedding, strollers, and car seats. And they're all at affordable prices. And if you're cleaning out your closets, Upsy Daisy will even buy, consign, or offer store credit for trade-ins. See TJ, Cindy, and the rest of the staff at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique. In Silicaga. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is now selling and servicing cell phones, iPads, and tablets. Depot Computer also sells and services computers, laptop, and desktop accessories, virus protection. Get them cleaned up now. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Hey, just in time for back to school, there's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. I mean, brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this, $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Back at Volunteer Stadium, second down and 13. I think a good time out there, Jeff. It, it seemed like right now this team has not awakened at this point for the Volunteers. Second down and long. Lyles in there at quarterback, high snap, goes up and gets it. He goes up the middle, cuts through a little hole there. He'll get back to the original line of scrimmage, forward wow, to about the 33 and a half yard line. Timing going to be a pickup of about seven yards out of what looked to be a disaster. He had a high snap. And uh, make note, Dawson Taylor, your normal starting center, not in the game tonight. And I'm not sure, did you catch who? DJ Denny in Okay, there DJ center, is yeah. snapping. And uh, he is in there at center. And I tell you, from the first couple of runs from Jalen, I think that uh, he may be able to get some yards tonight. I think that uh, he may have an opportunity. It would be huge to pick up the first down here on third down and four. Two split outs go either way. Motion man to the near side. That's JT Burns. As Jalen will roll out to the right, looking, looking, down the middle, in trouble. Now going to throw it late, and it's going to be hit and almost intercepted. Did he get it? No, hits the ground. No. Threw it late across the middle, intended for Davin Flanord. Incomplete. incomplete. It's fourth down for the ball. Got to punt it away. Just trying to find Flanord that time, dragging behind the defense across the middle, but a good break on the ball by the safety. Kobe Skipper got in there, knocked that ball up, and almost turns it into an interception. Back deep to return the punt. Is Kobe Skipper. Isaac Andrews to punt it away. Needs a big punt here. Ten men in the box for Tallahassee. Good snap back to Isaac. Gets it out of there. High floating kick. They'll get away from it. Let it hit. Rolls inside the 35. And rolls dead at about the 32 and a half yard line. Good job by Andrews once again to keep the return to not existent on this play. 29 yards on the kick, but more importantly, got a lot of hang time out of it and allowed the uh, cover guys to get down there and not get a, give up and return. Tallahassee football, first down and 10, 8.03 remaining in the first period. Last time out, three runs by Baines and a short pass. Put the Tigers on the board, they lead 7-0. Split outs either way. Whitaker. Loads up the shotgun as he will take it, leave it with Baines on the left side this time. Coming to the corner, he's hit once and then driven down. Good pursuit by Tim Henry, also Evan Whitehead. 
Up to make the stop. And Tommy, you know that Peyton Reynolds is watching number 18. They realize 18 is about 80% of their offense uh, coming into this game. So Peyton Reynolds and also Tyler Smith, they've got their keys. They know number 18 is the guy to watch for. Second down and about eight and a half yards to go. Game clock rolling, 7.34. Left here in the first period. Split out far to the right side. Whitaker sends his man in motion. It'll be the sweet speed sweep to the right side. And Whitehead can't bring him down, turn in the corner. Good play. Oh, what a side. Play. Drummond. Deion Drummond with a stop there. His third tackle in about five plays. He'll bring him down, bring up third in about five. And Drummond's had a guy right in his face, a blocker out front. That was Brooks trying to uh, lead block that time. But a good job of Drummond's fighting it off and making the stop. Big third down play here for the Vols defense. Trailing 7 nothing. You see your first state bank score there on the screen. Two split outs come to the near side. One will go to the far side. Whitaker with Baines back there with him. Takes the snap, going to throw the quick hits, loses it. Now he's going to tuck it under and try to run. Comes to the near side, pursuit is on him, and they are going to hit him and drive him back, gain of a yard. It's going to bring a fourth down. Tyler Smith says he fumbled, but they will come up there with it. Tommy, that time Whitaker wanted to throw the little quick uh, flanker screen out here, but when he brought his arm back, the ball came out of his hand. The time he gathered it in, had no choice but turn it up and try to pick up something. A big, big stand that time for the Volunteers. So on fourth down, Baines will punt the football away. You would have to be worried with Baines back there with Whitaker on a fourth down at about three. Ball's not all sold either. Snap back there to him. He will punt it out of there, end over end kick. DJ Ford's going to take it, come to the near side, block in the back right there. Uh, we didn't get the call, good deal. Yep. <laughs> and he comes to the 30. Davin Flanord the right there. He got his head in front of him. That saved him that time from a big flag, but uh, Central with good position, a field position to get out here around their own 30-yard line. See if the Vols offense can get something going here. First down and 10, mark it at the 30-yard line for the Volunteers. They will come to the line. Peyton Reynolds on one side at tight end. Isaac Andrews at the other. Back to the wishbone go the Vols. Heflin, Jennings. And it's going to be Lyles. Left side, nothing there. Moves the pile forward. He'll get close to about the 34-yard line. Gain of about three, maybe four. Brings up second and six. Yeah, they're going to give him uh, forward progress that time for about three yards. But uh, look like Ro uh, Romello Brooks and also Brady Hancock coming up there to make the stop. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first period. Tallahassee up by a touchdown. Ford goes to the far side. Flanord comes to the near side. Eye backfield. Back behind Jalen Lyles. Tallahassee cheating up. As they'll hand it off to Lyles, cuts it back against the grain, not a whole lot there, loses the football. Tallahassee says they have it. At the 35, Tallahassee, the Tigers all sold that they've got it. And does the official agree? Yes, he does. Tallahassee gets it, recovery by number 45. And that is going to be where for the Tigers. It's really been the big problem all year long for uh, this Central bunch, Tommy. They have put the ball on the ground 12 times, lost seven of those, four of those in that contest last week, now one here in the first period tonight. First down and 10 for the Tigers. Just outside the 35-yard line. Looks like a T set. Now they'll shift it to more of the box. Baines. He's back there with Jones. This time it's going to be Baines right side, bounces it outside, got daylight, turns the corner, brought down by DJ Ford, but not until he picks up about 20 yards. Yeah, Baines dangerous when he's back there taking that direct snap. It's a little read option, kind of like you see Auburn run, but Bain tucks it down, goes off a right tackle. Nobody out there. DJ Ford, luckily from that safety position, stops him shy of the goal line. Talking to folks from Tallahassee as we came in, and. Basically, they said, don't expect us to throw the football, and I think if you've got 18, you really don't have you to. You don't have to. Back to the T, then they'll switch it over. Box formation. Baines takes it. He'll go right side. Finds a gap hit there. 
DJ Denny on the stop as he'll move it down to the 10 yard line. Gain of four brings up second and six. And again, we talk about Bain's size at 5'9", 195 pounds. Doesn't sound like a real big bruising runner, but he gets the tough yards between the tackles as well as on the outside, and they really depend on him to be the go to guy. Second down and six. Football sitting at the 10 yard line. Steady dose of Baines for this Tiger offense. Whitaker back in there, now they'll shift. Baines gets the snap, hands it off on the inside, handoff and nothing there. Good play on the interior. That's gonna be Tyler Smith. Followed his keys also, getting up at his Glenord. Gain of a maybe a couple, brings up actually one, third and four. The key to playing defense against this kind of formation is staying at home, being patient, waiting for the play to come to you. That time looked like Baines was going up the middle. The get man in motion comes in front of him, gives the handoff. But as you mentioned, Smith and a couple others stayed right there to make the stop. Third down and about four. Tiger's going to call a timeout here. Ball's defense, you look at it, you know you got to keep up with number 18 here with uh, two downs to pick up four yards. Well, you know, all, both of his big runs, you thought they had the corner pretty well defense, but he finds a way to just slice through a little gap, and uh, he's really quick with those first two or three steps, and once he turns it up field, uh, Baines can turn on the burner. Yeah, you know, the thing about it that uh, is impressive is the vision. I mean, he gets out there, and like you said, it looks like he's not going to get the corner, not going to get the corner. Right. Well, he doesn't. He cuts it up and is able to slide through a little tackle. Once he gets you off balance, he cuts it up the middle and, again, makes some huge gains where it looks like there's absolutely nothing. And we talk about being patient on defense. This offense is, has to be the same way, especially with Bain. He's got to be patient, find those little gaps, and hit them when he sees them. Tallahassee leading 7-0 over the balls. Third down and four for the Tigers, trying to take advantage of a turnover, have moved it down inside the 10-yard line. They'll hurry to the line. Baines comes to the left side this time. They cut him off and bring him down. Good play, Jalen Lyles. Lyles is out there, cuts him down, maybe loses about a half yard. He brings up fourth down. Tallahassee going to go for the field goal here. And Peyton Reynolds, a good job of shooting the gap and start really forcing that a little bit wider that time. But a good job of coming up and making the attack. They'll put this one down somewhere around the 16-yard line. Makes it a 26-yard effort from the near hash. You gotta hope he went to the Kansas State School of Kicking. <laughs> Graham kicks from the hold of Whitaker. Low snap, gets it, kicks it, and it's right through there. So Tallahassee takes a 10 to nothing lead with 2.56 remaining here in the first period. Tommy, Coach Battles and his squad doing exactly what you've got to do. You go on the road, and when you get those possessions, you've got to get some points out of them, two possessions tonight. They come away with 10 points, so i got to be very happy with the way this ball game starts for the Tigers. Yeah, 10 to nothing, two-score game. Volunteers, uh, you hate to say they're flat. It looks like a tired ball team right now. Well, the offensive line is just absolutely not coming off the ball. Uh, they it looks like the backs are on them about the time they start getting on their blockers. So they got to fire off the ball, get some excitement going, and get out here and dominate this line of scrimmage. Just needing something big to happen here for this team, and they need a big play to get the the emotions back into it. Because, like I said, it looks looks like a ball team that's a little tired after four grueling weeks and some tough opponents. Tallahassee to kick it off, that's Graham. As he will approach, again, the directional kick, this time much shorter, taken, dropped, and then covered there. 31-yard line, the Vols will have it first down and 10. Yeah, number 22 over there uh, for Central Field in that ball, J.J. Jennings, and really put it on the ground, but fell back on it, and they get it in outside their 30-yard line. Vols with decent field position, maybe offensively can get something cooking here with 253 remaining in the first period. So far, it's been all Tallahassee leading by a 10 to nothing score. DJ Ford goes to the far side. Flanord will join him in slot formation. I backfield, back behind Burns. They'll shift Peyton Reynolds to the near side. Hand it off up the middle. A little bit of a gap across the 35 to the 36-yard line. 
Gain of about five, maybe six yards. Actually, let's go with a gain of five. That's Marcus Heflin, second and five. Yeah, the fullback got it that time, and uh, just off the, the guard that time, picks up about five yards. You know that the defense is really focusing on number 16, so if you can find some other ways to get these other guys involved offensively, it would be a huge boost to this offensive output. High backfield, back behind Burns again. This time Isaac Andrews comes to the near side. They'll sweep it out here to Jalen Lyles. Gets a good load of block on the outside. Cuts it back in at the 40-45. Lyles with a stiff arm, 45. Lyles will take it down to the 39-yard line. Impressive run by Jalen Lyles. 24 yards on that carry. Looked like uh, Tallis, they had it pretty well defended out here on the boundary, but Lyles found that little crease, turned it upfield. So good at using that stiff arm to fend off would-be tacklers. Gets another seven or eight yards after contact. Isaac Andrews with a good seal block out here. Also didn't get the number, but I believe that may have been Heflin out here as well, leading the convoy. Good for a Clay Automotive first down, where it's first and 10 at the Tallis 40-yard line. Burns. Takes it, throws it on the outside. It's caught by Ford. Ford's got a first down inside the 30 to the 29. Tom, at that time, Central caught him in a, in a man uh, defense that time and caught the safety, playing real soft, pretty deep. Came with that little slant on the inside. D.J. Ford with a good catch and a pickup for a first down. Couple of first downs in the row. Clay County Automotive first down. And you can come see the new Clay Way where cars are cheaper in the country. Again, that is a Clay Automotive and uh, keeping this drive alive with a first down from Clay County Automotive. Hey, don't forget, folks, uh, we uh, Athletic Club out here at Central doing some great things as this season goes on. We've told you about the, the, uh, the new building facility, and, of course, Jeff, you look across the way, looks even better this time than we were here a few weeks ago. They are really making progress on this baseball and softball facility. Yeah, they've got the roof on it. The walls are up and uh, really coming along well. They've had some great weather for it. So great things here happening on this campus. If you haven't had a chance, make it a point to come by and check it out. Also check with any athletic club member about the uh, two Auburn Alabama tickets to be given away October 24th and you can buy your chance a dollar each or six for five dollars an opportunity there so check with them and uh, try to find yourself at the 2014 Iron Bowl first down and ten for the Vols after the timeout by Tallahassee Flanord and Ford go to the far side Peyton Reynolds will shift back over here to the right side I backfield behind Jalen Lyles goes to the fullback he's hitting the backfield and nothing that time, big man up front, and that is Rivers at six foot 295. Almost took the handoff from Marcus Heflin. Came right over the top of the center that time and met Heflin about the time he got the ball and made the tackle. Second down and about 10 and a half yards to go. Ball's consecutive plays picked up first downs. Now needing a second down and 10 right here. Here comes Ford. There goes Flanor to the far side, the eye backfield. Back behind J.T. Burns. Burns will take, fake, drop back. Looking, looking, in trouble, going to throw it incomplete. Yeah, I think that's a good decision by J.T. that time. He was looking for, uh, it looked like Heflin out of the backfield down here on the near sideline, but nobody open, gets rid of it. Central has got to throw the football sometime, and they've got to get a little bit of a passing game to keep these guys honest and back them off the line of scrimmage. Just nothing there, nobody open. It is now third and 11 for the Vols at the 30-yard line. You're looking at about a 47-yard field goal right here. Vols need to move this football forward to have any kind of chance. Jalen Lyles will go to the right side, flips it back there to him on the quick screen, nothing out there. He'll turn it up, breaking a tackle is Lyles. He's got a first down. Oh, my goodness. You're exactly up too quickly. Nothing was there. There was two defenders. Looked like Hooks and Miller both out there with good position to make the tackle. But Jalen Lyles runs right through him, picks up a first down, and moves the chain. Another play all motor first down, and it's inside the 20 at about the 17-yard line. And that's Lyles, the Jalen Lyles we saw last that's year. That's it. That's a great run right there where it looked like there was absolutely nothing, and he somehow found a way. First down and 10, the wishbone set back behind Burns, two tight end look. Burns will take, give it on the right side. That's going to be dark, I believe, and he will struggle forward to about the 15. They'll mark the knee down at the 16-yard line. 
And that is Malik Dark on yeah. the carry there. Yeah, just coming a little crossbuck that time, but nowhere to go. That defensive front from Graham Rivers and Brown up front where the Tigers doing a good job of plugging the gap. I like the call, though, on that because everybody's keying on 16. Right. If you can sneak him in the back door, he can scoot into the end zone. We are 20 seconds away from the end of the first, so this will probably be the final play in period number one. Wishbone set. Back behind J.T. Burns. He'll take it, fake it, drop back. Looking, 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 throwing it. There's a flag on the play, and it's incomplete. Thomas, what is pointing at? They had double tight end set that time, and everybody on the defense was in four yards of the line of scrimmage. Peyton released, but a good job of picking him up and nowhere to go with the football. And it's going to be a holding call, I do flag believe, was the indication from the official. As that will cost the Vols. That's something we've been looking for uh, through the first four ball games this year. It's a good time to call it. Uh, just a Holding. great job. It looked like it might have been Skipper back there that peeled off and, and got in coverage on top of Peyton Reynolds. Second down. Moves it back. Second down. And second down and about 19 yards to go, needing to reach the eight for the first down. Ball at the 26. Flanord and Ford will go to the far side. Jalen Lyles dots the eye. Back behind J.T. Burns. They'll sweep it to Lyles, left side, gets a block, cuts it back in, and nothing there that time. Looked like Peyton Reynolds had pinned his man inside. Jalen tried to cut it back, nothing there. It's going to bring up a huge third down as we move to period number two. After one, it's all Tallahassee, 10 to nothing over the Volunteers. Vols football continues in a moment. In a world that's ever changing, you have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Telepiece of Ford is the region's complete Ford dealer with service and sales beyond compare. Telepiece of Ford is your F-150 powerhouse with America's best-selling truck with a superior selection on all truck types. Check out our inventory of Ford Mustangs on the lot, all with great financing incentives and an award-winning service department with you after the sale. Hello, I'm Jeff Smith with Tallapoosa Ford, and I'd like to welcome you to our dealership to come and experience a low-pressure sales environment. With no commission salespeople, our sales force is here to serve you. Please come see us today. Tallapoosa Ford, Highway 280, Alex City, where if we don't have it, we'll get it, guaranteed. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396. 5632. Lineville Health and Rehab represents a wonderful alternative to traditional long term care and rehabilitation. Lineville Health and Rehab will meet your or your loved one's needs. At our facility, you will not only find a commitment to quality, but also a professional and caring staff. We welcome you to a tour at our facilities anytime. Lineville Health and Rehab, Lineville, Alabama, where our family cares for yours. 256 396-2104. For top quality sales and top quality service to back it up, look no further than Chainsaw Sales and Service on Highway 9 in Goodwater. Get the best names in chainsaws, trimmers, and mowers. Steel. A leading brand in chainsaws and lawn equipment. Hustler. The top selling zero turn lawnmower. At Chainsaw Sales and Service, you not only get the best product available, you can count on Jackie and his staff to provide the best service around for all your small engine needs from parts to service. Contact Chainsaw Sales and Service at 
607. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. Back at Volunteer Stadium. Balls face a big third and 18. In the backfield, Quasi Jennings along with Jalen Lyles. He's got Ford to the near side. Flanord, Burns, and Dark to the far side. On third and about 18. You got to think DJ Ford may come into play here. Lyles back to pass, looking, throwing it in the flats. It's caught out there, but nowhere to go. At the 21-yard line for Dark, he had to adjust to catch it. Now it's going to be a field goal opportunity for Isaac Andrews. Yeah, Malik Dark done a good job of turning to catch that ball thrown behind him. Give him about three or four yards, but even from this point, you're still looking at uh, probably 37, 38-yard uh, field goal attempt. Isaac on the on the year. Has <laughs> one yet, of one. Is yet to miss a field goal. 23-yard effort, the only field goal, this one right here. Will be about a 38-yarder. Snap, hold, kick is up, and the kick is no good. A little timing issue there, misses it to the right. And now Tallahassee, after a good drive, turns the balls away. Yeah, you saw it off of his foot that time, a little bit too much air under it. Probably would have been a little bit, uh, probably long enough, but it goes uh, wide right, and they squander a scoring opportunity. Dallas, he takes over, first down and 10. They will start at the 20-yard line, leading 10 to nothing. Second period just underway, 11-18, remaining in the first half. Two split outs go to the left, two come to the right. Baines, the single setback. Back there in shotgun formation, sends a man in motion. He'll take it and keep it left side. Baines finding the corner, gonna rattle off about 10, 12, and then be brought down as they will finally step out of bounds across the way, but another big game. And Tommy, about four different guys had their hands on him that time, just unable to bring him down. Strong leg drive uh, in the lower part of his body. Brandon Baines with a good job of getting it out there on the corner. First down and 10, moving it out to the 34-yard line after a gain of about 14 <laughs> yards. Just tough to bring down. First and 10, Two split outs either way. Baines in shotgun. Looks to be the same play. Motion man comes to the near side. This time he'll keep it on the right side. Flag on the play. I believe they're going to get in motion. Once again. Yeah, I think they had Tallahassee. two guys. Yeah, the illegal here. shift. That'll move it back five yards. Yeah, they had two guys move that time. And uh, you get that sometimes in this kind of offense, but uh, volunteers that time recipient of a good call. Moves it back. That will bring up a first Flag and 15. 11.06. Left here in the first half and big touchdown run by Baines, then a field goal by Graham. Put Tallahassee up, Andrews misses a field goal just moments ago. And still the goose egg up there for the Vols. First and 15 as they will come to the line, split outs. One comes to the near side, two goes to the far. You got Baines back there. Motion man to the near side. He'll keep it right side. Here he comes, hit by Whitehead. Yeah. Good play defensively. And it's going to bring up a second down and long. And Tommy, we talked about Evan Whitehead getting a start tonight, really because of the injury to JoJo Staples, uh, stepping up there and making a big play. Vols just need a big play to get going. It, it's one of those where you feel like you're just kind of laboring out there. Well, I'm going to tell you, they're going to have to create it because this is a pretty solid Tallahassee football team. They really are. They're not making a lot of mistakes, are they? Back in the backfield, Whitaker along with Baines. He'll stop. Whitaker flips it on the outside. The catch is made. And then there comes the hold. I knew yeah. Flanord 
basically had his jersey taken off and the back judge did see it. That's going to cost him. Yeah, Kobe Skipper out there trying to uh, lead block uh, on that little screen that time had uh, Florinord wrapped up and they got him for it. So a couple of penalties on this drive for Tallahassee. If the Vols can somehow get this football back and get some momentum for halftime. That will move it back and make a second down, placing it down at about the 27-yard line. About 18 yards to go for the first down. Something this defense has got to try to do is, is start putting them in situations like this, not give them those uh, second and short, third and short situations to face. Second down. Too tight in look now. They'll shift to that box. Tight box this time. Baines has got it. He'll keep it to the left side. Cuts it back, and Colby Robinson comes up to make the stop. Gain of about maybe six yards, but he's still going to bring up third long. Colby Robinson just trailed that play from the back side, and once Baines made his cut, was right there and did what he had to do. He got him around the legs and stopped that drive. Third and 11, big play for this volunteer defense. Try to get off the field with 9.25 left in the first half. Boy, they're right. They're not going to throw the football a lot, are they? No, they're not. This clock's going to run, so if you got to go to the refrigerator real quick, you better hurry. Better make plans. This time, Whitaker rolls out to the right, got his man in the flats, going to flip it off to him. The catch is made, and the tackle oh, made it to 35. DJ Ford on the stop. And it brings up a fourth down for Tallahassee. Tommy, this coaching staff getting a lot more comfortable, a lot more confidence in D.J. Ford, the junior, really getting his first action at safety this year, but real great tackle in the open field. Fourth down and about seven yards to go for the Tigers. Baines back in punt formation. Ford has really looked well in the first half of the season. Baines to punt it around his own 25. High snap, climbs the ladder and gets it. Short kick. It's going to hit over on the side. And the ball's going to get good field position out of this, starting at the 40-yard line. Yeah, high snap, and he was lucky to get it out of there. There's some pressure coming off the edge from Heflin. It looked like Peyton Reynolds, but he got it out. But Central going to get excellent field position. they got to take advantage of it and do make something happen with it. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line. Look for the Vols. I, I think uh, I feel like we're going to get something going here. Tim Henry over here on the sideline getting checked out by the medical staff. As, uh, he has had a seat over here on the bench. And they're keeping an eye on him. He's uh, stepping in there a lot for Lane Browning on the right. defensive front. High backfield. Back behind Burns. Jalen Lyles hit in the backfield, will fall forward to the 44-yard line, gain of three, brings up second down and seven. And you, you hate to say it, Tommy, but you gotta, you just gotta keep feeding the ball to Jalen Lyles. He gets in that groove, he gets in that little rhythm, then he's just that much better ball carrier. Not sure how many carries already tonight, but he's had a pretty good dose here in the first half. Second down, about seven. Under eight minutes left in the first period. Flanord goes to the far side. I backfield back behind Burns. And it's Morgan to the near side. Here's Jalen Lyles hitting the backfield, breaks a tackle, cuts outside, dives across midfield, close to first down yardage. But you see a step away from taking that one to the house. One step, Jamarcus Miller got him around the ankle just as he hit the midfield stripe. And, and Jalen knew exactly where he had to get to. He stretched out, but he comes up maybe a yard shy. Third down, and we'll say about a half yard, maybe a full yard. Balls will have it. Got to keep this drive alive. Game clock rolling, 7-14 remaining in the first half. Ford will go to the far side. Power set back behind Burns. Quasi Jennings will shift to the right side. Now they'll hand it off to Jalen Lyles. Got his first down and into the 45-yard line goes Lyles. Tommy, first time tonight I've really seen the offensive line come off the snap of the ball. A good job on the right side by Adam Milam, Adam Brown. He looked like D.J. Denny out there really uh, getting some push and getting the first down. Picking up the Clay Automotive first down, keeping this drive alive. Make the short drive to Clay Automotive. Ball at the 45-yard line. Ford will go to the far side. Again, that power look back behind J.T. Burns. Burns has got it. Left side it goes to Lyles. Needs a gap. 
Can't find one, and a flag comes in again. Yeah, I think they're going to get uh, look like 75 Milam, on the near Milam. side. Milam for holding along that offensive front. The officials will talk about it. It will be a holding call holding. against the balls. Tell you, those are, that's just crippling mistakes that you tr you're trying to get something going, trying to get your offense uh, in a little bit of a groove, in a little bit of a rhythm, and uh, things like that. Just going backwards, it just deflates the team. And as we said, turnovers, bobbled snaps, things like that, negative plays, I guess is the way you would put it. The offense has struggled to put points on the board all year. And these are things that will cost you when you're trying to get in the end zone. Lenord goes to the far side. Ford comes over here to the, new, to the near side, the eye backfield. Back behind Burns. First down and 18. Burns with a fade pattern for Ford and cannot connect. Down near the 30-yard line. Just let him a little bit too much, but also Jamarcus Miller cut the field short on him out here, tried to cut his route off, and I uh, interrupted that a little bit. Second down. Looks like about 18 yards to go, needing to reach the Tallahassee 35 to keep this drive alive. Quasi Jennings back in. Flanord will check out. Clock stopped at 6.14. Left in the first half. Power set, back behind Burns. He'll take it, sweep it to the right side. Jalen's got the wall to the far side. If he keeps it around the corner, tries to cut it back, and he will take it for a gain of about wow, six, maybe right seven. Right. Looked like to that me right. he may have had the corner that time. I think we both saw the same thing. It might have been a little bit premature and tried to cut it back up, but looked like Jalen could have gained the corner that time and had some room to run. Third down and 13 for this volunteer offense. Ball inside midfield, Tallahassee territory at about the 48-yard line. And again, the clock winding with 5.40 left in the first half. Ford and Flanord to the near side. You get the feeling this crowd over here is ready to erupt if something big could happen. Burns rolls out. He's got pressure. Steps back under it. He's going to break a tackle, but not the second. Back to the original line of scrimmage, and now it's fourth and 13. Nowhere to go with the football. Good coverage. Hey, in the secondary, Romello Hooks is the one that stepped in there and made the stop. Isaac Andrews to punt the football away. Back deep for Tallahassee. It's going to be number 15 as we take a look at Kobe Skipper. Back at about the 15-yard line. Kobe Skipper. Andrews gets a good snap this time. And a good punt. Skipper, fair catch called for, and he will make it inside the 15 at about the 13-yard line. So first and 10 for Tallahassee. As they will start first and 10. Let's take this time out. You're watching Vols Football on WAXC-TV. Are you having a hard time today filling that position that you have open? Are you out there today looking for that right career opportunity? At Onan Staffing Our Businesses People, we help motivate job seekers and partnering companies grow and prosper by setting the staffing industry standard for strong employee relations and exemplary customer service. We believe employees are a responsibility, not a commodity. Start building your career today. We position job seekers in a variety of services. Let us help you today. Give us a call at Onan Staffing. How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. And coming right now, 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all-new Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Coming right now, folks, one example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. What a great tradition, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with decisions on brand name Delta faucets and custom shower system. Make sure you pick up the heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dadeville Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235.
First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. For over 35 years, Dairy Delight Nationals been providing the area some of the best of your favorite comfort food. From the best burgers around to their famous hot dogs and chicken fingers and sandwiches, even the pickiest of eaters can find some great food at Dairy Delight. And never leave without getting one of the hand-spun milkshakes, banana spits, or soft-serve ice cream just to top it off. Visit Dairy Delight on Highway 77 North, just off the square in downtown Ashland, to discover what everyone's talking about and become a customer for life. Young's Drug Store has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drug Store, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drug Store offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drug Store now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drug Store, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396-4. 5632. Telepiece of Ford on Highway 280 in Alex City has delivered new Fords for 35 years. Need fuel efficiency with style? See the best selection of 13 Ford Fusions delivering 38 MPG in a new stylish package. Check out the Hybrid C Max crossover now on the lot, offering roomy comfort with an amazing 47 MPG rating highway and city. Hello, this is Jeff Smith with Telepiece of Ford. I'd like to welcome you to our dealership and experience our low pressure sales. With non commissioned salespeople, our sales force is here to serve you. Visit Telepiece of Ford Highway 280, Alex City. If we don't have it, we'll get it, guaranteed. 450 remaining here in the first half. Tallahassee football, first down and 10. Baines in the backfield, gets the snap. He'll go left side, cuts it back, got a gap. He'll bring it across the 20 to the 21, about an eight yard gain. And it's gonna bring up second down and about two. Tommy, when you see Baines turn those shoulders, uh, to the lightest scrimmage, it just scares you to death because this young man's always just one step away from a big play. Defensively, he's a tough man to bring down. and They're just keeping it between the tackles. Very basic, but again, a very well-coached offense for Tallahassee. Power football right here. Baines takes it. He'll go left side this time, cuts it up. And he has got the first down out to the 25. One thing you see in Tallahassee, linemen are so quick. The guards are pulling. They're getting out there. Great lead blocks. But they're also blocking on the backside and not allowing that pursuit to get there while he works his way down the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 at the 25. Whitaker was on the carry that time. Tallahassee brings Whitaker up under center. Now he will shift. First down and 10. It's Baines. This time he'll leave it left side. Nothing there. Good play, Peyton Reynolds. As he will stop Jones at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down and nine. And Reynolds, good read that time. Just shot to gap. Was right there to make the tackle uh, near the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Second and nine for the Tigers. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. A quick moving first half of play here at Volunteer Stadium. Watch Keon Jones, he's really limping, Tommy. He really is. I, he's, he can barely get in formation. Second and long, as they'll fake it, rolling out is gonna be, got his man all alone down here, and the catch is made at the 40 yard line. Tommy, that time DJ Ford bit on the play action and a good job from Whitaker to uh, carry through with that fake and the tight end just releases off the line of scrimmage wide open down the middle of the field. Moving it to the 40 yard line. Tallahassee on the move again, already leading 10 to nothing. First and 10, Tigers at the volunteer 40. Two tight end look once again. Baines in the back, like you said, you look at Jones, he can barely move out here. Here comes Baines on the run. He's going to be hit and driven back. No gain on the play. Good pursuit by the Valde. Good job of just following it down the line of scrimmage. Looks like Isaac Andrews out here along with uh, Bobby Carter and a couple other guys. Peyton Reynolds as well up from the bottom of the pile. I think you got 38 to 37 there. Bickerstaff, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Good stop for no gain. Brings up second down and 10. Tallahassee comes to the line. As they will go with that Notre Dame box look. Shotgun formation is Baines. Sends the man in motion. Pitches it back very dangerously. And the pursuit is out there. They'll bring him down. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe forward for about a half yard. Good pursuit again. Peyton Reynolds out there. Tim Henry as well. Devin Florino with a good play off the corner to come up and uh, get a hand on him as well. With a bobble in the backfield, almost cost Tallahassee the possession. Third down and 10, and Tallahassee going to take a timeout right here. Stopped at 2.07. Left here in the first half. Thanks to all of our sponsors bringing you volunteer football throughout the year. Monty Albon, Curley Motor Company, and Alex City. State Farm Insurance Agent Mike Coleman, Abernathy Farm Supply, as well as Sarah Nissan of Silicaga, Bama Ware, Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen, Attorney Marsha Mason, and Chainsaw Sales and Service. Thanks for bringing you Vol Football each and every week right here on WAXC-TV. Tommy Wood along with Jeff Coburn. Week number five, this volunteer team will uh, take next week off, an open date next Friday night, and try to get some of these guys healed. Again, if you're just joining us, four starters for the Vols not in action tonight. Uh, they include Clay Tuck, Dawson Taylor. Also, you've got uh, Lane, Lane Browning and as JoJo. Well as JoJo Staples. So, Some real big cogs out there. It's missing out of this uh, defensive unit especially. Third down and about 10 yards to go. Third and 10. Big play for the Vol defense. Try to get off the field here. Whitaker gets it, rolls out to the near side, throws it down the middle, incomplete. Not a chance for that one. Brings up a fourth down and 10. Tommy looking for number four, and that was uh, the, his receiver out here in the flash, just on a little curl route, trying to find uh, Jamarcus Miller, but good coverage, and the ball well underthrown. Big, big stand that time uh, for Central to hold them on a third down conversion, and uh, they're going to make them go for it on fourth down. Looks like Tallahassee will go for it here. Kind of no man's land there. You punt them deep. They may go in the end zone, then you don't gain much. So Tallahassee going to go for it here on fourth down and 10. They'll take the snap. Here comes Baines. Going to stop, throw it back against the grain. Coverage is out there incomplete. That time, Flanord picked him up, just basically a tight end drag route across the formation. And the balls make the stop. Offensively, a minute 58 in which to try to get some points on the board. Yeah, it was a big play. And Flanord, only a sophomore, a very smart heads up play to stay uh, with the receiver that time. They tried to throw it back uh, behind the play, and Flanord was right there with him. First down and 10 for the Volunteers. They'll come to the line. Two tight end look, the wishbone set back behind J.T. Burns. How huge would it be if the Vols could get on the board before the break? Burns to the fullback, got a gap, got five. He'll bring it out to about the 47-yard line. Just a little belly play uh, to Heflin that time right up the gut and uh, picks up about seven yards. Vols with a minute 42 left. Don't seem to be in... Too big a hurry at this point to try to get into field goal range. Second down and about three. Now they hurry to the line. Trey Kidd switches to the right side. Wishbone set. Handoff goes to the right side. Darks hit immediately, spins, nothing. He is hit. And the Vols will take a timeout here with a minute 16 left. And again, it's a big guy, the nose tackle up front, Rivers, along with Graham in there. Uh, nowhere to go uh, for the offense, and they make the stop behind the line of scrimmage. Again, all the sponsors, uh, we appreciate you so much bringing you Vol football each and every week. They include Tallapoosa Ford, Dairy Delight of Ashland, Depot Computer of Alex City, also Highway 9 Vapor, Central Alabama Community College, Sarah Honda of Silicaga, Southern Pipe and Supply, Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique of Silicaga, and Lineville Health and Rehab. We appreciate them so much. Don't forget at halftime, Cabinets Direct Halftime Show coming your way. We'll check out the volunteer marching band and uh, kind of recap the first half. Hopefully get the stage set for the second half here at Volunteer Stadium. And we talked about a big conversion down just a minute ago uh, for Tallahassee. Right now, 
the Volunteers facing one. They desperately need to pick up about three and a half, four yards and keep this ball uh, to the intermission. Third down and about two and a half yards to go to the I formation. Jalen Lyles dots the eye. They'll move Peyton Reynolds over to this side as they'll sweep it to the left side. Lyles has got it, trying to get a block. Now he's in trouble, turns it up, going to step out of bounds. He is shy of the first down, I believe. Let me see. It's going to depend on the spot. It's going to be close. It's going to be the nose of the football, if anything. The officials trying to make the indication as Coach Heron doing a little politicking of his own over here. And Tommy, you see a little bit of frustration uh, with some of the volunteers now. Lyle's just absolutely nowhere to go. Tallis, an excellent job of stringing that to the sideline and not giving him a crease to turn it upfield. A minute nine. Official timeout in the of the game. Remaining here in the first half, and they'll bring the change from all the way across the field. Lyle's that time. If he takes one more step forward, he's sure of the first down, but just unable to cut it up. And, and again, you know, big possession right here for Central Tommy, a minute and nine before the break, and uh, they're down by 10 points. If nothing else, they want to keep the ball and at least run the half out. This is offense we've talked about for the last three or four weeks. I'm not sure they're capable of recovering a 14, 16 point deficit. They're just not that explosive. Uh, they, they just haven't been able to put things together to where they can climb out of a big hole. They could, uh, again, they rattle the chains there for another Clay Automotive first down. I think the good news is you're probably not gonna give the ball back to Tallahassee. That's a huge measurement that's, right there. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. Now you've got a chance to go on the offensive, and no pun intended, but try to get something going and uh, pick up some yards and have a shot at it as a touchdown or a, or a field goal here before the end of the half. Look for the halfback pass here. That could be a possibility. Burns back, throws it in flats, caught by Ford. Ford's going to step out of bounds at the 43, stops the clock with a minute five. Again, just a little six or seven yard comeback route. Good run uh, and catch that time from DJ Ford and JT Burns. Eight yard gain, second and two. Stops out the clock again with a minute five. Ball at the 43-yard line. Again, the Vols trying to get at least in Isaac Andrews' range. High backfield. Second down. Quick hitch on the outside. Caught by Ford. Nothing there. He'll go forward to the 40. Step out of bounds. He's got the first down. Yeah, he's going to get another first down and move the chains. And again, Tommy, they'd like to work it down and get in with the Isaacs range. But if nothing else, this is maybe the only positive they can take into the dressing room for halftime. And you got to remember, they're going to get the ball to begin the, set, the third quarter. First down and 10, starting at the 40-yard line on this play. Flanord will go to the far side. Here's Ford over here, now getting double coverage. High backfield, back behind Burns. He'll fake it, drop back. Looking down the middle, he's got his man throwing it down there. And it's Not, up and... It's intercepted. Yeah, no. it's yeah. Picked off. Just threw it up for grabs down the middle of the field. And there was just nothing that could go on right there. You had double coverage down the middle of the field and now... First down and 10 for And you got to see that Tommy Skipper back there just playing center field, and uh, you run your route right to him. You see him back there, and uh, you just throw that ball up for grabs, and you give uh, Tallahassee a chance to pile on here before the intermission. 54 seconds left on the clock. Tallahassee will take over, and you don't relax here. No, you you're don't. looking at the back of number 18's jersey. They will actually go to the victory formation and take a knee and take the 10 point lead into the locker room. As they will have to snap it one more time. But the first Just half has been Tallahassee and uh, again, this, this ball team to me, from up here just appears to be a tired bunch. And just when you think you got a little bit working, going to get something positive, uh, they come up with their second turnover in this uh, first half, and it really couldn't come at a worse time. It, if nothing else, they wanted to hold on to that ball and run the clock out. They'll milk the clock down, have to snap it one more time, will the Tigers. And that will be it. We head to the locker room, first half, Tallahassee up 10 to nothing over the Volunteers here at Volunteer Stadium here in this Class 5A Region 3 showdown. 
It's been all Tallahassee here in the first half. We'll take this time out and come back with your Cabinets Direct Halftime Report. It comes your way next on Vols Football on WAXC-TV. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful, Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. For over 70 years, Curly Motor Company has been serving the Lake Martin area with superior service. Curly Motor Company has quality pre-owned vehicles with down payments as low as $1,000 and flexible payment plans to fit any budget. Most vehicles come with warranties that Curly stands behind and they even service customer vehicles. View all of Curly's inventory online at www.curlymotor.com. Curly Motor Company not only sells pre-owned vehicles but offers much more such as rental cars, headliner repair, and can help you with lost car titles and title work. When you buy a car from Curly Motor Company, you're not just buying a car, you're buying our name. Harris Plumbing and Electric, just off the Ashland Square, has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256 354 5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is now selling and servicing cell phones, iPads, and tablets. Depot Computer also sells and services computers, laptop, and desktop accessories, virus protection. Get them cleaned up now. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Depot Computer located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 21 Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Larry Jordan says, y'all come on up here. If you like good catfish, I'm talking about USA Farm raised catfish, you're going to love Red's Catfish. Been around for many, many years. Family friendly, you better believe it. And let me tell you just a few things that you can get with that catfish. Hush puppies, coleslaw, some of the best sweet tea you've ever had, hamburgers, cheeseburgers. So it's not just catfish. That's Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Welcome back to the Cabinets Direct Halftime Show. Tommy Woods, Jeff Colburn. We are being entertained at halftime, as always, by the Central Clay Volunteer Marching Band. This year, the biggest one in school history, the band under the field direction of drum major John David Phillips. And uh, this has been a great year. Rock of Age is the theme of the uh, program. We've shown you during the uh, past few weeks the first part of the show. Tonight, we wanted to finish it up, but this is the Clay Central Marching Band.
Another great performance. The crowd appreciates this Central High School of Clay County marching band as they make their way off the field. Another great performance here tonight. Rock of Ages, what a performance. And again, great job by all those young gals and guys. And we appreciate them so much. It's the Cabinets Direct Halftime Show. 10 to nothing, Tallahassee on top. We'll take this time out. Come back and get you set for the second half action right here on the Cabinets Direct Halftime Show on Vols Football on WAXC TV. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionville can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. In a world that's ever-changing, you have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. It's football season, and the Tide is ready to roll again. Bama fans, make sure you have everything you need to show your Tide pride. Bama Wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg has it all. Polo coaches shirts, game day t-shirts, hats, watches, autograph memorabilia, Daniel Moore prints, and home goods. Bama Wear is also the original home of the popular Bama Girl t-shirts and has plenty of Tide stuff for the Bama ladies, including houndstooth purses, dresses, raincoats, and more. So whether you're gearing up to show your Tide pride at home or the game, there's only one place to go. Bama Wear on Highway 280 in Childersburg. You can also get your Tide gear online at BamaWear.com. Roll Tide. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Hey, just in time for back to school, there's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. I mean, brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this, $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Harris Plumbing and Electric just off the Ashland Square has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256 354 5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics welcome back in cabinets direct halftime show tommy wood along with jeff colbert and jeff let's first talk about cabinets direct we appreciate them sponsoring us and uh, they do a great job and just some great people to work with i guarantee you rick and the gang if if you need it they can find it and they'll get it to you get it installed uh do anything in the world they're a great company to work with and uh if you need cab kitchen cabinets uh bathroom vantage whatever you need in the way of carpet or cabinetry call rick and the folks at cabinets direct and they'll they'll work with you and get whatever you need do you think if we uh, tell them we need 10 points they would find a way to do that uh Ricky can't, but Dwayne probably can. There we go. All right, let's talk a little bit about it. Ten to nothing, our score here at halftime. Tallahassee leading over Central. And, Jeff, let's talk about the first half. Uh, Baines ripped off a big gain uh, and big touchdown run early. 
put uh, Tallahassee on top. Since then, um, the Vols defense pretty much has held him in check. you got to be proud of the way the defense have played. If you talk about the offense, the only word that comes to mind is disappointing. I, I just I call it like you see it. They have not gotten any kind of rhythm, not been able to sustain anything. The one fumble, the interception, a couple of turnovers early. Uh, they've got to get something going, Tommy. But the one thing, if you look at the stats for the four previous games, Clay Central has not scored one point in the third quarter all year long. Wow. Four ball games, not a point in the third quarter. You always hope the first five minutes of the second half you get the ball and you turn the game in your favor. They've got to do that tonight. They've got to break that trend, get some points on the board, and get them on the board in a hurry. You know, talking about disappointment, talking to some of the fans here uh, at halftime, I think the biggest disappointment is they don't see that fire out here tonight. This is not a team that looks like they're having fun, and, they, and that's going to be a problem. If they can't uh, really get some emotion and, and get some fire under them, then uh, Tallahassee's going to make it a long night. And I hate to use the term going through the motions, but that's exactly what comes to mind when you see this first half. Offensively, they have just been real sluggish. They've not established anything. They tried to throw the ball a little bit to loosen up the defense, but a lot of credit to Tallahassee across the way now. They're very disciplined. They're staying at home. They're technique, talented. They know what they're doing, and they're making it tough. We'll take this time out. Uh, again, Cabinets Direct Halftime Show when we come back, second half kickoff action. It's Central Football on WAXC TV. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teams have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you, too. And Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mike Coleman about a car loan that can save you hundreds. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widowie. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom. Cabinets Direct. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right. You buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And we have one of the greatest selections to choose from. We have Chevrolet, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram. We got it all. So you come see us right here at Clay Automotive and experience the new Clay Way. Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Larry Jordan says, y'all come on up here. If you like good catfish, I'm talking about USA Farm raised catfish, you gonna love Red's Catfish. Been around for many, many years. Family friendly, you better believe it. And let me tell you just a few things that you can get with that catfish. Hush puppies, coleslaw, some of the best sweet tea you've ever had, hamburgers, cheeseburgers. So it's not just catfish. That's Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama. Getting set for the Talladega Ford kickoff. If you want to check them out on the web, check them out at TalladegaFord.com. Tallahassee to kick it off. We'll see if the Vols can get something going offensively. 
Malik Dark back to return the kick. We've seen the directional kick each time by Tallahassee. And uh, the last time out, it went over uh, to Cooper. This time back over that way again. And it will be taken by one of the up men coming to the near side, breaking the first tackle. That's going to be Heflin. And he'll be spun down across the way at about the 32. Yeah, and Tallahassee, you see, they're not afraid to sacrifice a little field position. I'm not sure they're capable of kicking it deep. Not sure the guy has a leg, but doing a good job of just putting it in the air and virtually no return. And you saw Baines, who lines up on the kickoff team on the near side. All he does is filter back where the kicker yeah. left, and he's the safety man back in the back. Let's see if this Vols offense can get something going here in the second half, down 10 to nothing. Flanord comes to the near side. Ford will go to the far side, the high backfield, back behind J.T. Burns. you got Heflin and Lyles back there behind him. They'll sweep it to Lyles, cuts it inside, hit at the line of scrimmage. Looked like he fumbled again. I may have gone to the turf, but the may have bobbled it momentarily. Gain of about a yard, second like and nine. I thought I saw it come out, but there was no beanbag thrown, so uh, the Volunteers do retain possession, but only a gain of maybe a yard. Second down and nine yards to go for this volunteer offense who has been held in check in a big way here tonight. Split outs are either way. Back to the I formation. Needing a big play, just needing a spark to get this team going. They'll go back to Lyles. Lyles hit at the line of scrimmage and he's pushed back. May have gotten forward, ball stripped out, but they'll say the knee was down. Brings up third and long. And Tommy, talking to the coaching staff coming into this game, they knew they had to worry about Baines offensively. But they felt like their offense could move the ball against this Tallahassee defense. For all the steps that they took forward against Leeds last week, it looks like they've come backwards again tonight. Just really, there's no push up front. The offensive linemen are not getting off the ball and not getting some holes open along that offensive front. Here it is, third down and five. Split outs either way. <laughs> J.T. Burns under center will take it, looking, looking. He's got trouble, tucks it under, going to try to scramble up, and he will get close to the 40-yard line, but shy of the first down. It's going to be punting time for the Vols. Yeah, just had one man in the in the pattern out here, and that was D.J. Ford. It was looking at, uh, you know, two deep coverage, nowhere to go with the football. Had a man underneath and a man deep, and Burns had to tuck it down and get what he could. It comes up shy of the marker. Andrews to punt the football away. Back deep for Tallahassee. Skipper standing inside the 30-yard line. Good snap back there to him. Isaac with a high floating kick. They'll get away from it. And it's going to roll inside the 35 at about the 32-yard line. Tallahassee will start there, first down and 10. I tell you, the Volunteers, they keep leaning on their defense. They keep depending on them and uh, hoping they'll make a stand. They've got another uh, opportunity to do just that right here. Balls need a turnover or something good to happen. As you're seeing a lot of fans over here on the near side just anticipating hopefully something good happening for this Balls team. 10 to nothing to score. <clears throat> Back to the box, look. Whitaker in there, will take it, give it to Baines. Baines goes right side, breaks a tackle, breaks a second tackle, it's Baines. Far sideline, midfield, 40, cuts it back, breaks two tackles there, breaks a third, right here. a fourth, and goes into the end zone. Unbelievable. Uh, the skill of this young man to just shed tacklers. And you notice the motion that time drew D.J. Ford, the safety, to the near side of the field. And once Baines cleared the line of scrimmage, it was clear sailing. Looks like he goes about, uh, what are you calling it, 68 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, 68 yards there. And as good as advertised, we knew coming in, this guy could pick him up and put him down and break tackles. And Again, that time nobody could just get a, get him wrapped up, and he continues to break. So, again, about the third play from scrimmage in the first half, he goes the distance. Now on about his first or second run here in the second half, he goes in, makes it a 16-0 lead. Graham on for the extra point. This kick is up, and the kick is right through there. 17-0. 
Vols trail here at Volunteer Stadium. And I harped on it earlier, Tommy. They know they're walking a tightrope right here. They don't have the offensive fire firepower to keep digging themselves out of the holes, and they can't keep leaning on the defense uh, to control the ball game. Baines, tremendous run. We talked about him 5'9", but he uses his body so well to shed tacklers, and he, we talk about Jalen Lyle's stiff arm. Baines got one as well. Definitely a powerful move for Baines. Goes into the end zone. As they will come back on the field, will the Vols kickoff return team being shut out here at home tonight, 17 nothing. This is a kid that had 291 yards, I think it was, last week or a week or so ago. Three, nine, yeah. He's getting real close to 200 yards tonight. Yeah, he has definitely carried the pigskin his chair tonight. Directional kick again, this time back to Jennings. Jennings has got it. Comes to the near side of the 20, 25, cuts it back, good move. Jennings far side, he'll bring it out to about the 39-yard line. J.J. Jennings. J.J. Jennings on that return, sets the balls up with good field position. One of the few things tonight has raised a few eyebrows on the home side as Jennings cuts it back and almost gets a, a step ahead of the defender that time for a big return. First down and 10 for the Volunteers. For the Volunteers, it's all 39. But I'm just seeing as they walk to the huddle, it just looks like this is a team that has not played four games this season, but four games this week. That's right. They just seem to be totally exhausted. Needing a big lift right here. First down and 10, trailing by 17. Burns takes it, drops back to pass, throws it down the middle. He's got Peyton Reynolds for the first down. Reynolds 45. Reynolds into Tallahassee territory to the 42-yard line. Tom, that's another good call. We, we'd like to see that tight end come off the line of scrimmage, but Burns just kind of lollipops that ball out there. Reynolds has to sit and wait on it. He's got nowhere to go once he catches it. That will move it for the first down. Again, the Clay Automotive first down to the 42-yard line. Just no zip on the ball. First down and 10. Two split outs come to the near side. That's Cooper and Ford. Eye backfield. Back behind J.T. Burns. Burns takes, goes to the right side. Jalen Lyles gets a little bit of a hole, but not much to the 39. That's going to be it. Wow. These linebackers, especially the outside linebackers for Tallahassee, do such a good job. They, they line up wide, but they keep the play in front of them. And they step in there, and they're like an extra cornerback at times out there, and they come up and make the and support the run real well. Just do a great job of keeping containment. I mean, they're, they're keeping uh, Jalen pinned in there. When he cuts it back, the help's coming, and that's what's going on here tonight. Wide outs either way. High backfield, back behind Burns. It is second down and a long seven. Burns back to pass. Looking, looking, going to tuck it under. Now throws it, and it's going to be incomplete. DJ, uh, DJ Ford again, the long receiver in the pattern on the near side. But that time, Tommy, you noticed uh, that was hooks that was lined up on the line of scrimmage. And right before the snap of the ball, he drops back in coverage. They disguised it so well, uh, Central had no time to read it. And there again, there was too deep coverage on the near side of the field. Third down and seven. Ball on the far hash just inside the 40-yard line. Lyles in there at quarterback. He's got two wide outs to either side. Big play needed right here. Lyles back to pass. Looking, looking down the middle. It's got, and that's a first down. Driven back. Oh, what a terrible spot. Yeah, I think. He got to the 30-yard line on the catch. Lyles pass caught by number three. And they're going to give him. Wow. Going to come up by a yard shot. Number 15. That's a. They're going to bring up fourth Four. down. But just a little wow. uh, slant to the inside that time and good throw. That time Z Jalen had some zip on the ball and got it to him in a hurry. Makes it fourth down at about a half yard. Got to get the first down right here to keep this drive alive. Down by 17. Wishbone set behind Burns on fourth down and about a half yard. He'll take it right side, first down and more, moving the pile forward inside the 30 to the 27-yard line for the Clay Automotive first down Dark. goes Malik Dark. Yeah, Dark, the second man through that time, and good push up front. They got some movement, got enough for the first down. Quasi Jennings back in, replacing Dark. Clock rolling, seven and a half minutes left in the third period. First State Bank scores 17 nothing. Tallahassee on top. Wishbone set. 
as he'll take it and leave it with a fullback up the middle. That's going to be Heflin. Good run inside the 10. Close to the 8-yard line goes Marcus Heflin. Two consecutive snaps as the Volunteers are getting some push off the ball. Adam Milam and Adam Brown pushing their men about three yards down the field that time, giving uh, Dark a little, or I'm sorry, Heflin room to run. Second down. Looks like a short two as the Vols will come to the line. Down by three scores now. Wishbone set back behind Burns. Burns will take. Goes back to Heflin. He dives forward close to the 15-yard line. I believe he got the first down. And again, the Clay Automotive first down for the Vols. Yeah, that's going to move the chains. They're getting near uh, the 15, inside the 16-yard line. But a good drive going right now. They've just got to get some points out of it. Got to get some points here, preferably seven of them. Wishbone set back behind J.T. Burns. It is a first down, two tight end look. Your tight ends are probably going to be wide open if you fake it. As Burns will take, give it off on the right side. Hole is there, cutting it up. It's going to be dark, dark to the five, to the four. That's a powerful run right there. That's the kind of running that will set up Jalen Lyles to have some success. If you bust it in the middle, you got a fullback coming through uh, the hole like that and, and picking up those kind of yards, that's going to open it up for Jalen. Brings up a first down and goal to go at the four-yard line. Balls come to the line. Again, the two tight end look. Hands it off to Lyles, left side. Lyles is in, touchdown. 16, and the balls are on the board. 6.06 left in the third period. 17-6 our score. Tom, and probably the best drive they put together all year long. No minus yardage on the snap of the ball during that drive. It covers about 68 yards, and they get seven points out of it. They're right back in this game. Isaac Andrews on for the extra point. JT Burns going to put it down. Tyler Smith is down. Tyler Smith to snap and confusion. They don't have enough as they're counting. Play clock still at 20. Got plenty of time as a player scampers on. Now Andrews on for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick up, and the kick is right through there. 17-7 our new score. 6.06 remaining in the third period. We'll take this time out. This is Vols football on WAXC TV. Hey, just in time for back to school, there's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. I mean, brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga, you come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this, $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga, you come and see us. The best Mexican dining experience around is found at Monte Albon Mexican Restaurant. Real authentic Mexican cuisine and atmosphere awaits you at Monte Albon with great specials on popular dishes such as the new chimichanga with shrimp, only $10.99. Beef for chicken chimichanga specials for only $3.99. Choose from select lunch or dinner combinations. Buy one and get one half off. Want to celebrate your birthday? Get a free drink, meal, and dessert when you dine in. Two convenient locations on the Court Square in Ashland and on Highway 9 in Lineville to serve you. Lineville Health and Rehab represents a wonderful alternative to traditional long-term care and rehabilitation. Lineville Health and Rehab will meet your or your loved one's needs. At our facility, you will not only find a commitment to quality, but also a professional and caring staff. We welcome you to a tour at our facilities anytime. Lineville Health and Rehab, Lineville, Alabama, where our family cares for yours. 256-396-2104. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. 
Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too. And Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. Hey, coming right now, 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all-new Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Coming right now, folks, one example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. Back at Volunteer Stadium, the Vols are on the board, 17-7. Central trailing Tallahassee. Touchdown by Jalen Lyles. Now the Talladega Ford kickoff by Isaac Andrews. Check them out on the web, talladegaford.com. Baines is back deep. Andrews to kick. He'll kick a low one. It's off the foot. Battle for it. Balls have it. They got it. Balls have got it. Unbelievable. Southern Choctaw. And that's the Southern Choctaw play. Andrews didn't mean to do that, but hey, the Vols get a huge break right there. And look coming out of here with it. Tyler Smith says it's got to be our ball. I'm walking away with it. Yeah. This is a huge play for this volunteer team. Yeah, the, you know, we saw Southern Choctaw do that uh, to rival in the championship game a couple of times. And it, uh, again, it's not a play that they designed, just a missed kick by Andrews, and it works out in the favor of the Volunteers. It was a line shot that hit the up man in the leg, shoots straight up in the air. Balls pounce on it. A touchdown here. The Vols are back in it again. And, Tommy, you like this idea of getting your offense right back out there. They was in sync. They had some rhythm going. Break, breaking the game between the tackles right now is what they want to continue to do. Wishbone set behind Burns. It is first down and 10 at the 44-yard line. Handoff, faked, dropped back, throwing in the flats. The oh, Jalen Lyles. In the flats, can't hang on. He could have run for a while. He just forgot to carry the ball with him that time. He was looking at turning to look up field to see where he was going and uh, forgot to bring the ball with him. Second down and 10. Balls need to capitalize on this one. 5.58 left in the third. Balls need to put together another big drive. Second and 10 at the 44 yard line of Tallahassee. Three split outs go to the left side. Jalen alongside JT Burns who loads up the shotgun. Sends Jalen in motion. They'll take, fake it to him. Now looking down the middle, he's in trouble, he's going down. Fake the screen to the outside and a big loss on the play. Back to the ball side of midfield at the 48. One thing. That play is so slow to develop, and you right, got to respect the speed of this Tallahassee defense, but secondary coverage has been excellent all night. And Peyton Reynolds comes out holding his arm. They're bringing him to the bench in a hurry to get him checked out over here on the near side. Looks like a hand problem. Third down and 19 for this Vols offense now. And they, they're confused. They don't. There's not enough in the huddle. They're going to have to burn a timeout. Play clock was down to five. Yeah, and Heflin didn't, didn't get back in the huddle that time. So they'll stop the clock here with 5.17 for the Volunteers. Had the ball at the 44-yard line. That last play was huge. That's a big sack. Yeah, again, Tallahassee doing a good job of switching coverage right before the snap of the ball. They go back to that two deep coverage, nowhere to go for the, with a the football. And uh, you can swing it out to Jalen, but they've got men all over the field. Yeah, I mean, when you flip it out there to Jalen and, and trying to throw it down the middle, but just pressure was there. There was nothing going on. Jalen's in there at quarterback now. Third down and 19. I say if you pick up 10, you may go for it on fourth. I think it got to be in four down territory. Burns under center. Halfback pass might be the dial up here. We'll pitch it back. Jalen, no, he's going to turn the corner. He's got some. Oh, what a there. block. Turns it up the field, 40 yard line. Jalen's close to first down yardage. 
to the 36. It's going to bring up a fourth wow. down and only a couple. Tommy, a great block out here on the corner by Marcus Hamplin on the linebacker to really open that up for Jalen to uh, get the boundary and turn it up. Field's going to come up about two, two and a half yards shy. Huge play here for this Vols offense. Down by 10, 448 left in the ball in the third period. Vols with momentum. Big play here on fourth and a couple. Two tight end look. And Tallahassee going to take a timeout. Timeout, timeout. Tallahassee will take the timeout. It is fourth and two. Jeff, what do you like here? Uh, Tommy, I like, I like Marcus Heflin or Malik Dark. Yeah. I like the dive play. Uh, the guys up front for the last couple of series have really blocked well and gotten some holes. Uh, in a situation like this, you know the game is probably on the line right now. This is a big possession. You've got to get two yards. You know, you look at it in, in Malik Dark, everybody in the stadium in purple and gold is expecting 16 to get the football. Exactly. That, that's why I like the, the fullback. You know, and, and that's it. you got to think about the fullback if you can get that push up the middle. Malik Dark's not going to be in there. He's coming out over here on the side. And you can bet Coach Mike Battles knows how big this play is as well. A good time to call a timeout right there to get his defense set and also to slow volunteers down a little bit. They were on a little roll after that big run, so give them time to think about things. Wishbone set once again. It is fourth down and a long two. Ball's got to make something happen here. You also kind of like that wide side over there with Jalen Lyles. Nobody really on the outside. They'll take it. Go to Lyles' left side. First down and more. Lyles breaks it. 25. And Lyles down to the 21-yard line. Now you're 12. seeing the life of Jalen Lyles. Look at this. Needed 12 yards. He got 14 just right up the gut again in a good lead block up front from Marcus Heflin. You're seeing a rejuvenated squad. This is what happens when the offense gets going. Tommy, right now you're you're – your linemen and your leading backs are getting out there and getting cell blocks on the linebackers where they failed to do that early. Wishbone set behind Burns. First down, another timeout from the Tigers. Oh, my goodness. Timeout, Tigers. Coach Battles has just burnt his second in three plays. And, Tommy, he, somebody is just missing an assignment, lining up in the wrong position. He is living they're, on the far side. They're missing an ear at this point, too, yeah. because he just basically got all in that one. Huge drive by the Vols here. I'd be glad for them to make a liar out of me. You know, I've said for four weeks, this is not an offense that can come back and score a lot of points to, to get back in the ball game. But they, I hope they prove, a liar, prove me a liar. But right now, a couple of good drives here, back-to-back -back possessions. Does Isaac Andrews have another kicking trick in his books? <laughs> you know, I tell you, you man, think about it. sometimes you get the breaks. Sometimes you got to like the them. volunteer side if it comes down to special teams. That's right. First down and 10. Tallahassee down to one timeout left in the second half. First and 10 with a wishbone set back behind Burns. You're seeing life in this team in blue. Handoff right side. Quasi Jennings, nothing there. Good blocking downfield. That's uh, Isaac Andrews yeah. there taking his man down to the 10-yard line. And again, you know, we're up here. We're not on the sideline. Malik Dark's had a hot hand since this second half started. And you put Quasi in there. Why not keep feeding the ball? If you're going to go with that trap, have Malik back there and have him carrying the football. Second down and nine. Again, Jennings and Lyles in the backfield with Heflin. Needing a big drive here. Sweep to the left side. Jalen Lyles turns it up, hurdles a defender, and bounces to the left side, carrying folks forward. He's to the, about the 18. Gain of only three. Brings up third and six. And I want to tell you right now, Marcus Heflin is punishing anybody that comes up on the outside. He's really laying some block. But one thing you see him out of Jalen Lyles tonight, not really trying to get that corner. He's He's Cutting turning it up upfield up a whole lot more tonight than we normally see. Normally he's trying to use his speed to get to the corner, but right now just taking on would-be tackle. Third down and five. Dark back in the game with Lyles. Heflin in the backfield. All behind JT Burns. Third and five. Burns takes it. Dark right side. Dark lowers a shoulder. He's going to take it forward to about 
the 13, right gain of four, five, needed five. five. Let's call it fourth and about a yard. Decision time right here. It's going to be fourth down. Do you kick the field goal and, uh, you know, get it within a one-score ball game, or do you go for it on fourth down and try to get to seven? I think they may be going for it right here. The offense starting to feel good about themselves, and I think that uh, they're going to keep trying to build on that confidence. Fourth and not even a yard. If it's fourth and three, I may change that, but fourth right. and less than a yard, I think you got to go. And, and again, I like the way Dart's come on and started running the ball. Only a sophomore, he's got a bright future. Running the ball hard. He's got Heflin back in the backfield with Lyles and Dart. It is fourth and about a half yard. Burns under center. Everybody at the line for Tallacy and movement. Mm. That's a killer right there. Those are the kind of mistakes that uh, we talked about earlier you just cannot make in these kind of ball games, and that's probably going to change their yeah. mind and send on the field goal. Yeah, you've got to kick it at that point. Legal procedure against the that's going to cost them five. five four, wow. About six. Averaging 61 yards a game in penalties coming into this, and they're, they're trying to keep up with that average. Going to put the football down at the 24, a 34-yard effort for Isaac Andrews. 0 of 1 in field goals tonight, so 1 of 2 for the year. The wind in his face. Burns to put it down. Snap, hold, kick is up. The kick is beautiful. And the Vols are within a touchdown. 17-10. Vols continue to rally back. Isaac pulls them to within a touchdown. A great Big leg kid. and uh, just good concentration that time. Had uh, Tallahassee had good push up front, but Isaac didn't rush it. Went through his motions and drilled it right between the uprights. Two minutes, three seconds remaining in the third period. It's now 17 to 10. Tallahassee up by a touchdown. And we talked about beginning this half. Uh, Central failed all year long to score a point in the third quarter. Very important tonight. They have come back, got 10 here in this third period. You know, and, and you sit there, and, and it, it's so funny. Emotion and momentum play such a huge role, and folks take it for granted and don't understand how it works. But you're looking at a Vols team in the first half that looked like they were totally exhausted yeah. and, and were struggling to walk. It looked like the they had practice today. And then now all of a sudden you see them jumping around on the sideline. You're seeing the spirit get back up over here and the Vols are pulling right back in this thing. Talladega Ford kickoff by Isaac Andrews. Of course, check them out online, talladegaford.com. Andrews with the kick, high but short, taken at the 18-yard line, cutting it to the middle of the field. Vols are there. They'll track him down. Tim Henry brings him down at the 30-yard line. And another thing that's helping them, Tommy, the, the folks on the home boosters have finally had something to cheer about. They're getting behind them. Don't think those kids can't hear that out there on the field. Oh, they know it every snap of the game. And So, again, you're getting into this situation where you know Baines is going to carry the load for this Tallahassee team. Got to find a way to keep him in check. Two split outs go to the right. One comes to the left. Whitaker takes the snap. He'll go to Baines. Baines up the middle, finds a gap. Hit, comes to the 35. That's it. Gain of four. Brings up second and six. Baines so impressive with his head constantly on a swivel, looking for that gap, trying to just pick his way. That time, not a lot of yards, but was nothing there. He just found. Don't think the play was designed to come back this way either. I, I think that's just... Just well coached, and well, I'd say well coached because some things you just don't teach. A guy like Baines, he's just got such a knack for finding open field. Whitaker, man in motion, comes to the near side. Baines again, right side. He's hit by Peyton Reynolds, bounces off, oh bounces goodness. outside. Can't catch him, turns the corner. Baines again down the far sideline and into the end zone. How in the world does he keep doing that? Oh, man, 65 yards that time. And look for all the world, he was stopped at the line of scrimmage. You know, talking a few minutes ago to some of the guys uh, before the game from Tallahassee, and they said everybody knows that he's going to get the football, but you just can't find a way to stop him the whole game. And that time, again, Peyton Reynolds meets him in the hole, looks like about a couple-yard game, but he just keeps those legs moving and breaks it to the outside. It's now 23 to 10. Tallahassee on for the extra point. That is Graham. I wonder if he's going to drive the bus home tonight, too. He's done everything else but <laughs> yeah. sell popcorn, I'll tell you. Kick is up. The kick 
He's right through there. Well, I tell you what, it really takes the wind out of your sails when you fought back and had some momentum going, and then you give up a big play like that. But, you know, you have him at the point of contact. We talked about it in the pregame. You have got to play technique with this guy, wrap him up. If you stop his legs, you stop him, but you're not going to tackle him around the shoulders. No, you really aren't, and, and I'm going to tell you, it's taken – two or three guys to get him on the ground. I don't know how many, how many yards he has tonight, but he had over 1,000 coming in. Right. And uh, he has really put on a show here tonight. And you talked about Peyton having a hand on him. And I'll say this, we, we saw him coming to the sideline a while ago, thought he had an arm problem. I think Peyton has dislocated a finger. They, I think they put it back in place and it's heavily wrapped on that right hand. Yeah, he really is. And so that is something to keep an eye on over here. Kicking off. For Tallahassee is going to be Graham. Score to pass along, which you'll have this one at airs, but 21 to 14, Borgard over Talladega. Kick high, very short this time, taken by Heflin. Heflin trying to get a block, can't get one. He'll be thrown down across the way, starting at the 36-yard line, first down and 10. And they've got to get their offense back out there and get back in that rhythm. And uh, a minute and two remaining here in the third period. Got to get something going. But uh, I tell you, it has been a rough road to hold for the defense to stop Bain. First down and 10 for the Volunteers at the 36-yard line. Ball's now down by two scores with a minute two remaining in the third. As they come to the line. It's forward to the near side. The wishbone set behind Burns. First down and 10. Hand off right side. It's dark. Dark hit at the line. Bounces off and then thrown back inside the 35. Just met right uh, at the line of scrimmage. Samuel Ware, that inside linebacker there to put a hat on. Under a minute remaining in the third period. Down to 43 seconds on the clock. 24 to nothing our score. Or check that, 24 to 10, our score, I should say. Baines with three big touchdown runs for Tallahassee tonight. Wishbone set behind Burns. Back to pass is Burns, throws it in flats, it's incomplete. Looking for Ford out there. Could not connect. Third. It brings up third and ten. And Tom, I see what they're trying. They're trying to get forward the ball in space to give him an opportunity to make something. But you got double coverage most every time out there with uh, the safety and the linebacker both on him. Nowhere to go. Yeah, they, they're really covering the wide side of the field. And you, you look at it there and you're seeing, like you said, the double coverage because the other nine are stopping the run. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing. You, you know, you're able to do that. And timeout called by the Vols. That is their second of the second half. It's going to bring up only one timeout as we head to the fourth for both teams. Well, a real big conversion down. You think why uh, they call it here with 21 seconds to go, but uh, they had to do something. Big conversion down there facing here. They've got to keep this football and, uh, you know, you hate to say it, but they may have been four down territory right here. Yeah, you may be right, it, it, especially if you pick up any kind of positive yardage here on third down. You hate to say desperation, but uh, the way Tallahassee moves the football, that may be exactly what you have to look yeah, at. I, I think you're there. right. And as you look at this, you, you've got to, to find a way to, to make a big play here, third down and about 10. Again, I'd like to know how many yards Baines has. I, mean, I, I don't have a way of finding out, but that young man is is, is exactly what we thought coming in. One thing you can be assured of is well over 200, and uh, what's he got, three touchdowns? Three touchdowns. He has put on a show here tonight. Third down and 10 for the Vols. Three split outs come to the near side over here. Quasi Jennings in the backfield with Jalen Lyles. Definite passing down here you would expect. Third and 10 as Lyles drops back to pass. Looking, looking, tucks it under. Got pressure. He's going to be in trouble. He's going down. Sack back at the 29-yard line. Just a great open field tackle. You got to tip your hat to him, Nicholas Talley. The inside linebacker acting as a spy that time stayed with Jalen and made a good tackle in the open field. Brings up fourth down and about 19 yards. And the fourth period as well. We head to the fourth. Tallahassee, 14-point lead over the Vols, 24 to 10. We head to the fourth period. This is Vols football on WAXC-TV. 
Time for back to school. There's a big sale at Sarah Nissan Silicaga. Coming right now, folks, is our bottom line sales event. I mean, brand new versus like this, 40 miles per gallon. Check this out, $99 a month. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. Hold on, I thought of one more thing, folks. During the big bottom line sales event, brand spanking new 2015 Nissan Altima is like this, $5,000 off if you like, $199 a month. Make that short drive. Sarah Nissan Silicaga. You come and see us. The best Mexican dining experience around is found at Monte Albon Mexican Restaurant. Real authentic Mexican cuisine and atmosphere awaits you at Monte Albon with great specials on popular dishes such as the new chimichanga with shrimp, only $10.99. Beef or chicken chimichanga specials for only $3.99. Choose from select lunch or dinner combinations. Buy one and get one half off. Want to celebrate your birthday? Get a free drink, meal, and dessert when you dine in. Two convenient locations on the Court Square in Ashland and on Highway 9 in Lineville to serve you. Lineville Health and Rehab represents a wonderful alternative to traditional long-term care and rehabilitation. Lineville Health and Rehab will meet your or your loved one's needs. At our facility, you will not only find a commitment to quality, but also a professional and caring staff. We welcome you to a tour at our facilities anytime. Lineville Health and Rehab, Lineville, Alabama, where our family cares for yours. 256-396-2104. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. You may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too, and Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. How come we're selling brand new 2015s when the other guys are selling leftover 2014s? Because we're the auto giant. They come in right now, 2015 Honda Fit, folks, 41 miles per gallon. Look at this, $97 a month. The all-new Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. Hey, it's bigger selection, it's better prices. It's the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Come in right now, folks. One example, fun to drive Honda Accords like this, just $139 a month. Come on, that is so low, you can't say no. Sarah Honda, Selicaga, you come and see us. Ball's got to punt the football away, facing fourth and 16 at our own 30-yard line. Tallahassee not sold that the balls are going to punt. We look for Isaac. Got to boot that thing out of here. Good snap to him. Takes his time off the side of his foot, but he should get a decent roll, but inside the 40 to the 39. So not exactly his best kick of the year, but... I'm not sure on a night like tonight they're even going to get a good bounce. Yeah, it's, uh, again, a good storm this afternoon, and so you can't expect the dry turf to get much of a roll there. First down and 10 for Tallahassee, leading 24 to 10. Tigers have it, first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Whitaker in the backfield alongside Baines. They'll take, give it to Baines, goes left side, finds a gap, hit, and a gain of only about a yard there. We go second down and long. Yeah, it looks like number 38, Bickerstaff, in there along with uh, uh, Noah Leary to make the tackle. But Tommy, watching this game, you have to respect what Tallahassee's done. Their offense they run is real complicated, and they've been pretty much flawless with it. Really have uh, no turnovers in the ball game as far as I can remember. 18 Baines is standing back there behind Whitaker. He has put on a show here tonight. He gets the call again, left side. Goes to the corner, he's hit once, twice, and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Gonna bring up third and long. And 
Bain a little bit slow getting up, but he's got to be give out. He's so good at dipping that shoulder and making the defender miss. You don't have a lot of area to work with. Uh, you know, again, like yeah. you said, there's just not a lot there to hit. And uh, being able to get around that corner there and just get back to the line of scrimmage, looked like he was not going to be able to do that, but brings up third down and about seven. Ten and a half minutes closing in on that left in this ball game. Two split outs go to the right, one comes to the left. Whitaker takes it. They could get him leaning there. Handoff comes to the near side and hit oh. good play, Deion Drummond. How many of those has he made tonight? Tell me, if you look back, I think that was designed to be a reverse and one of the defenders, it might have been uh, number 41 uh, down here. In, the Tell linebacker me, yeah. that, that got in the way and wouldn't allow him to pitch it, and he had to eat the ball. Baines back to punt it, fourth down at about nine. Clock is rolling with 9.56 remaining. Balls trail by 14. Snap, gets it out of there. And it's going to be down at the 30-yard line. First down and 10 for the Vols at about the 31. Well, the volunteer defense come up with another stop that time and gives their offense an opportunity with some fairly decent field position to get something going. 9.46 when this drive begins as the Vols will come to the line. Needing a huge play. And something on this drive. Obviously, you They've got, to get, got you, to. Know, you got to get seven on this drive somehow. They're down 14. They've got to get something here. Two split outs go to the right. Burns in the backfield along with Lyles. Flanord comes to the near side. Jalen goes to the far side. They'll fake the screen. Then the screen comes back the other way to Peyton Reynolds. Reynolds out here gets a block, cuts it inside. Spin move by Reynolds. Peyton inside the midfield stripe and down to the Tallahassee 48. Good play call. Picks up the Clay Automotive first down. 22 yards that time and got it to the sure-headed Reynolds. You know he's not going to outrun, folks, but good hard running. He had some blockers out in front of him. Moves it to the 47 of Tallahassee. As again, they fake it to Lyles. Everything went to the right and a screen pass, which may be the first in school history, I believe. <laughs> On the near side. Gets the first down. Now Lyle's in there at quarterback. As he'll take the snap, quarterback keeper up the middle, runs into a sea of humanity, and he's going to go down. He will move it to about the 43. We'll give him a gain of three, maybe four yards. And, Tommy, this is what I talked about, about not being the type of offense come from 14 points down or so. They're not going to do it in a hurry. They have got to drive the field. they got to churn out yardage. They just don't have the capacity to throw the ball vertically, number one, and number two, they're not able to get the corner, so they've just got to do it between the tackles, and that's going to eat time off the clock. Split outs are either way this time. The eye backfield back behind JT Burns. It is second down and six. Burns will take, drop back, looking, throwing the fade out here. Ford goes up. Oh, in. what a catch. Ford inside the 20 to the 16. DJ Ford climbed the ladder and yanked it down. What a catch by Ford. And Tommy, again, they threw it into double coverage. They had Miller in the corner underneath Lee, the uh, safety over the top, and DJ Ford wanted it more than either one. I made a great effort to go up there and pull it down. Inside, they'll mark the knee down at about the 18, I checked that 17 yard line. It is first down and 10 after another Clay Automotive first down. Ford goes to the far side this time. Eye backfield, back behind JT Burns. They'll hand it off to Lyles up the middle. Lyles is hit immediately and goes down. Wow. Just no push up the middle. Those big guys, Rivers and Graham, uh, in the middle and on the left side of that line have really been solid across the front. Second down, gain of two. As the Vols have eight minutes and five seconds left to stage a big comeback here, down by 14. Flanord to the near side, DJ Ford to the far side. Again, single coverage. Now they'll shift a safety over to that side. Burns drops back, looking, looking, in trouble. Going to throw it down there for Ford. He goes up and does it again. He does. Touchdown. Interference is going to be the call against Tallahassee, but DJ Ford 
with a tremendous play. Yeah, and again, that's a ball that was thrown into double coverage, but Ford with that 6-2 frame and that ability, great hands. That's why they have him back there returning punts. Although he's only a junior, they got a lot of confidence in those hands, and he proved them that time when he goes up and gets it. Ford proving you put it up close. He's going to climb the ladder and get it. It is pass interference against Tallahassee and the point stand. 24, Isaac Andrews can make it a touchdown game again. You know, both of the last balls, the last passes, when he left his hand, I thought it was a mistake. Thrown into double coverage, but a DJ Ford saved the day for the Volunteers by making two outstanding catches. Andrews on for the extra point. Very important PAT right here. Snap is low, hold is up, the kick is up, and the kick is no, no. good to the right. Yeah, That's the that, first point after he's missed this year. Yeah, that snap was low, and again, we mentioned Dawson Taylor not in the lineup with an injured knee, so that snap was very low. JT did a great job getting it down there, but again. Well, that was an important point after, Tommy, rather than a, a touchdown, an extra point to tie it up. Now you got to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion. And need a big stop here when this Tallahassee offense comes back. We'll take this time out. This is Vols Football on WAXC-TV. We're selling all brand new cars below invoice. That's right, you buy a new car from us, it's below invoice. We have interest rates that are below those credit union interest rates. We even have 0% on new vehicles. And on our pre-owned selection, we have the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles that we've ever had here at Clay Automotive. So you come pick you one out, you'll love it. And come experience the new Clay way. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen in Hackneyville is serving up some good old-fashioned cooking. From their famous fried catfish to delicious chicken fingers, pork chops, hamburger steaks, and even prime cut steaks, as well as sandwiches. Don't forget about their daily lunch specials for that quick, good down-home lunch every Tuesday through Friday. Miss Kitty's Country Kitchen makes it so good, you'll think Mama's in the kitchen. So load up the family and go see Miss Kitty and Tommy for the best food at affordable prices in Hackneyville. Call 256-329-3111. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. Why pay more for name brand children's, boys, juniors, and Mrs. Clothing when you can save big at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique in Sylacauga? A great selection of names like Polo, Abercrombie, Mud Pie, and more. Upsy Daisy has maternity clothing for expecting mothers and accessories like bedding, strollers, and car seats. And they're all at affordable prices. And if you're cleaning out your closets, Upsy Daisy will even buy, consign, or offer store credit for trade-ins. See TJ, Cindy, and the rest of the staff at Upsy Daisy Resale Boutique. Boutique in Silicaga. Harris Plumbing and Electric just off the Ashland Square has everything you need from the floor to the ceiling. Any project, big or small, looking to upgrade those dinosaur appliances, they have a huge warehouse of scratch and dent GE appliances that will save you thousands. You'll even have to look real hard for the scratches, and they come with factory warranties. You owe it to yourself to shop Harris Plumbing and Electric, where your dream kitchens become reality. Located just off the Ashland Square, give them a call today at 256-354-5600. Harris Plumbing and Electric is a proud supporter of high school athletics. For over 70 years, Curly Motor Company has been serving the Lake Martin area with superior service. Curly Motor Company has quality pre-owned vehicles with down payments as low as $1,000 and flexible payment plans to fit any budget. Most vehicles come with warranties that Curly stands behind and they even service customer vehicles. View all of Curly's inventory online at www.curlymotor.com. Curly Motor Company not only sells pre-owned vehicles but offers much more such as rental cars, headliner repair, and can help you with lost car titles and title work. When you buy a car from Curly Motor Company, you're not just buying a car, you're buying our name. Balls to, pulled to within one score and a two-point conversion, down by eight, 24 to 16. After the penalty, Isaac Andrews' Talladega Ford kickoff will be at the Tallahassee 45-yard line. Tigers expecting an onside kick here. Will Andrews pooch it? He kicks it all the way through the uprights, basically. 
into the end zone. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Tigers. Tommy, that last drive, very efficient. It covered uh, about 65 yards, but more importantly, it only eat about two and a half minutes off the clock. 24, obviously, most points. Now, let's see, last week we gave up 28, then 24 this week. Yeah. But the Vols defense got to try to come up with a stop here and get that football back to have a shot. Tigers, you know they're going to rely on number 18. This time he will dot the eye. He's got receivers to his left. Does Whitaker. They'll go to Baines up the gut. Baines is hit once. They hold him up and bring him down. Good play on the far side. On yeah. the stop that time. Baines on the carry stop that time by Carter. Yeah, Bobby Carter on the stop across the way. Good play. Brings up second and nine. And Peyton Reynolds right there to lend assist. You see Peyton really trying to get to the football. He is really struggling. It, it, jogging to the huddle a few minutes ago looked like he had, uh, again, he's in there about every snap. Oh, yeah. You know, offensively and defensively. And he is putting in the effort once again here tonight, second and long. Motion man to the near side. They go back to Baines. He goes left side. Tripped up and shy of the first down. He'll be brought down, but brings up third and about two. And uh, up uh, from the corner that time, number 70, 17. That's Whitehead. Uh, tried to take his legs out, but you saw Bain with that great uh, balance in that. Almost got back to his feet. And if he keeps his balance, yeah. he may still be running. It's huge right here. Third down and actually about a yard to go. Ball's defense trying to come up with a big play. I don't know that Baines have been stopped for a negative play all night. Whitaker hands it off up the middle. Baines goes outside. There he goes again. Jalen Lyles turns up the motor. He cuts back on Lyles, and he is going to go in the end zone again. You know, Jalen just had to sell out that time. He had to hope to run him down and make open field tackle, but Baines had the upper hand. And I'm going to tell you, if he don't have 300 yards tonight, I he don't does. know if we yeah, got to calculate. He's got to. He, there's no doubt. Unbelievable. He uh, he could be flirting with four uh, the way he has run the football tonight. And he puts point number 30 up on the board. This kid's a senior. Where has he been for the last two years that we yeah. haven't heard about? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. But all of a sudden, this guy has exploded onto the scene. And he's going to leave here tonight with, you look at it, close to 1,400 yards in the first half of the season. That's right. Oh, my goodness, he's uh, unreal. Just got the great best balance of any back I've seen. Snap, hold, kick is up. The kick is good. I tell you, you just sometimes you got to tip your hat and say great job. And uh, uh, Baines tonight, he just been everything he was advertised to yeah, be. I, I, I'll, uh, I'm trying to think if, if you could come up with yardage. I mean, just on <laughs> touchdown runs alone. Oh, he would you be got well a, over three. Yeah, you got a 54 and a 65, and what was that one right there? About almost 65. Almost 65, yeah. yeah. And uh, then there's another touchdown run. It was about the same distance. So uh, I'm not sure. Volunteers in their short history. I know they've never had a back run for this many no. yards. I don't know that an offense has gotten this many yards. I, I, I think you may be right. I mean, you know, we we've seen Carry on Johnson, Malik exactly. Miller, and they were nowhere near uh, as. And like last week with guy. Marshall and Nation yeah. uh, with Leeds, uh, I'm on a, I'd venture to say that uh, Tallis is probably in the 400, 450 yard yeah. uh, total offense category. Tell you what, that guy has really turned it up here tonight. <laughs> Graham to kick it off. Short kick. This is going to be Jennings, J.J. Jennings goes to the far side, needs a block, finds a little bit of a hole, oh. and the block knocks him right into it. Yep. He'll bring it out to the 42-yard line, though, first down and 10 for the Vols. Well, they'll set up right there and just try to continue uh, improving on what they did the last couple of offensive series. First down and 10, down 31 to 16. This has been quite a performance by... Baines for the Tigers. Bain probably won't go to the dressing room when the game's over with. I imagine he'll probably go to the bus and start making sandwiches for uh, everybody. He, he has <laughs> been a one-man show tonight. Unreal what this kid means to this program. Burns, shotgun look, got Lyles beside him. Snap, back is Burns. Got pressure, rolls near side, going to throw it long, intended for Lyles. It is going to be picked off. Yep. Intercepted at the 40-yard line. 
and again trying to throw off his back foot that time uh, with pressure in his face and just uh, a little bit of a dying duck out there and nowhere to go. And that's going to bring Baines back onto the field with six minutes left in the ball game. I can't believe they put him back out there. Uh, they may not. Yeah, and I hate to, I'm not saying he's all they've got. He's all we've seen exactly. tonight. Exactly, yeah. By what we've seen, <laughs> yes, right. he is. Uh, you know, you hate to say that, but we've not seen anybody else really. I'm not sure anybody else has got more than no. maybe 25 or 30 yards. There's no way. There's no way that anybody else has done it because, you know, the only carries that they've gotten, it seems like the Vols have been there and snuffed those yeah. guys out. But when he's not taking no a direct snap, he's getting the toss. So, uh, I mean, he has just been everything. 31 to 16. He's back there in the backfield again. Whitaker leaves it with him. He goes to the left side. He'll bring it forward. And he will gain out to about the 43-yard line. Gain of four. Brings up second and six. And, and you like the heart of that young man. Baines knows he's had a, a, a record night, a, a trophy night anybody would be proud of, and he's still fighting for every yard he can get. Tell you what, he almost leaves here with 1,500 yards. I, you know, that's just – this is amazing to see the way this guy. We know been. what Jalen did last right. year uh, throughout the season with about 2,100 right. yards. He's we on a pace for 3,000. Yeah. I mean, this guy is on a pace for 3,000 yards. Two split outs go to the left. One will come to the right. There goes Baines again. They'll ride him down across the 45. Baines on the carry stuff by 46. Ball's going to fall to two and three. That's I think I'm right. Time. The only team that's, that's beat Tallahassee this year is T.R. Miller. Is that Miller, right? Yeah. By one, 28-27. that's outside the region play. But, yeah. They're going to uh, be 3-0 in the region. That's exactly. And uh, i tell you what, balls will fall to 2-3 and three after a tough five-week schedule. We knew the first five weeks were going to be tough. Just didn't know it was going to be this tough. Didn't know this Tallahassee <laughs> team was going to be as good as they are. Third down. Handoff goes to Baines, goes left, he's hit, and they'll bring him down. May have lost about a half yard, and now Tallahassee got to punt the football away. And, and we, we spoke about how well, how disciplined and how well they execute this complicated offense, but another thing you got to look at, Tommy, is how well they protect the football. Uh, they've not put the ball on the ground, I don't think. The only turnover was on the kickoff where it ricocheted off somebody, but right. uh, really protected the ball. They've done everything they had to do coming in here. Yeah, they really have. I mean, this has been a well-coached team. They, they, they look like a machine coming in here tonight. And Again, you just feed the ball to 18, and when he can roll up the yardage like he has here tonight, they are going to be tough to handle. Mike Battles knows a little, a little bit about coaching. You know, his daddy, uh, he played for his daddy at Walter Welber, and his daddy, the longtime coach there, and now at, at, at uh, Roanoke and Hadley. And, and talking about Mike Jr., I was looking back at his resume. He played college ball at Sanford, Sanford right. and Terry Bowden and Chad Gailey were his coaches That's there. Right. So he's had some pretty good tutoring and mentoring over his years. He has been around some great coaches and, uh, again, doing a great job down at Tallahassee. But this Tiger team tonight, uh, again, I wonder how many times in history a school has played a son one week and a father yeah. five weeks later. I, you know, that's kind of a strange situation, but we will see Bike Battle Senior later on. One thing you can count on, that's going to come on in November probably. Be some shorts. I'm going to bet you money right now both of them have shorts on on each side of the sideline. Oh, yeah, there, there is no doubt about that. Baines to punt the football away after taking the timeout with 3.52 remaining. D.J. Ford back in punt formation. He's done a great job tonight, both sides of the football. The kick is off the side of the foot. It will roll. Ford can't get to it. It's going to roll down inside the 20 at about the 17-yard line. First down at 10 for the Vols. You know, I'm not trying to be comical, but special teams is not something they work a lot on, don't look like with their putting no. and their field goal. But when you're running up and down the field like they are, why worry about it? That's right. And, and you look at this team, you know, you know, some teams have, have great kickers and punters. I think the Vols are in good situation there. But you look at uh, this team uh, from Tallahassee, that's effective. I it mean, is. he gets it right there, and nobody can return it. And, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter how pretty it is. Yeah, he got about 38 yards with exactly. the roll and everything. You know, I mean, you, you take what you can get, and that's what they're doing here. 
Jalen Lyles in there at quarterback shotgun formation. We'll take it, fake it, drop to the right side. Flips it back to Dark. Dark's got some running room over here. Cuts it back inside. Dark out to the 35-yard line. Again, the flow and everything took it to the right. Throwing it back over on the near side. And Dark able to get some yardage. And just having that little bit of zip on the ball gives your ball carrier about three or four extra yards. And it will pick up another Clay Automotive first down out here to 35-yard line. Clock now rolling with 322. Three split outs go to the right side. One comes to the left side. Lyles, shotgun, drops back, looking. Going to throw the fade down here for Ford. Ford has it momentarily and can't outfight the defender. And tried to throw it, throw it to his outside shoulder that time, but again, good coverage on the on the corner out here from Marcus Miller. Had backside help again from Skipper. And Ford is coming out over here on the near side. Not sure if he caught a cramp or what. Uh, just a battle out here on the near side. But he's going to have to check out. It is second down and now 10 with 3.11 left in the ball game. Lyles takes it, drops back, looking, in trouble. Tucks it under, coming under. Now he's going to stop and going to try to dump it off. Intended over here, but again, just trying to get rid of it. And that pass intended for number 25. And uh, that is Morgan. Uh, Tommy, just relentless pressure. Talisay never gave up that time and kept coming after Jalen. Gave him nowhere to run and nowhere to throw the football. Third down now. And 10. Morgan comes to the near side. You got Burns, Flanord, and Cooper to the far side. He throws it, nobody home. Yeah, mix up in routes that time. I think Flanord was supposed to take the outside route, just a little corner route that time, and he came to the inside. Jalen throws it to the outside. Fourth down and 10. Balls have it. And. Why not go for it here? 259 remaining in the ball game. You're down 15. And you know, we haven't talked enough the last couple of weeks, uh, really not mentioned enough, but you look at DJ Denny taking over at center uh, for uh, Dawson Taylor. An excellent job. There's not really been has. any bobbles, any miscommunications. Snaps have been good. DJ really adjusted well, shifting over to that center position. Ball's going to take the time out here with 257 remaining, deciding. Do you go for it, or uh, what do you do? And if so, what play do you have dialed up on fourth and 10? Well, you know, I don't know that you work a lot in practice on fourth and 10 plays, but uh, again, they're going to put Jalen back there probably to throw the football and hope to get something quick underneath and just give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Don't forget the uh, Vols Athletic Club still selling those uh, Auburn, Alabama ticket chances. Uh, they're going to be given away by the Clay County or Clay, Clay Central Athletic Club. My eyes are tricking me here. October 24th at halftime, a dollar each or six for five dollars, and the tickets donated by Buster Miles, Chevrolet, Ford, and Heflin. So get in touch with any athletic club member and find out more about it. And uh, get your tickets, and um, maybe you'll head to Tuscaloosa coming up later this year. Fourth down and 10. Jalen Lyles, shotgun set, takes it, rolls out to the left. In trouble, just going to throw it down there for Flanord, who cannot climb the ladder, but going to yep. be interference. They're going to get an interference get the break there. Uh, right there about the uh, 37, 38 yard line, Flanord. Great effort just to get a finger on that ball and not sure it was catchable, but in high school ball, that doesn't make any difference. It does not. Again, great job by Flanord. Uh, as you said, the effort just to, just to get a hand on that one, had to turn his body all the way around. Did so, and now the Vols have first and ten. Yeah, they're going to get Miller that time just a little bit early with contact. Both of them fighting for the ball, but they're going to flag Miller for it and give him a, a new set of downs. First down and ten after they mark it forward. Going to be right near midfield. Yeah, going to have a shot here. You know you'd like to get a big play and get on the scoreboard once again and maybe have a chance at an onside kick. You're right. It just, you know, whatever they can work on right now, whatever they can improve on, just going to benefit them down the road. Flanord comes to the near side. Jalen and Eric quarterback. Shotgun formation. He's got Dart beside him. He'll drop back, roll to the right side. Steps around the pressure. Going to stop. He's in trouble. Throws it across the middle. Incomplete. Had JT Burns breaking open late. 
but unable to connect there, and it's going to bring up second down and 10. Yeah, Burns had found that little seam, and uh, I'm not sure that's Burns. That's number 37. No, it's, it was 10 where he was, was going. It? I think okay. 37 was the deep guy. Uh, but uh, found that little seam there, was open for a minute, but Jalen with a lot of pressure right in his face. Second down and 10. Cooper goes to the far side along with Burns. Flamnord comes to the near side. Jalen will take the snap, roll to the left, looking, looking, throwing it down He's the middle. There. Burns is there, got the catch. JT Burns down to the 30-yard line to the 29, and that's good for a Vols first down. You talk about Central struggling to throw the ball, then you see Jalen Lyles throw a pass right on the money into coverage across the middle. Just an excellent pass. That's just something that you don't get enough of. JT again with a great catch, took quite a shot on the leg. He's limping as he comes out here. But that's good for a Clay Automotive first down. Flynn Nord goes to the far side. Clock rolling now with 226. Burns, check that. Lyles back to pass, looking, throws a bullet intended for, uh, for Cooper down here through the hands. It's going to bring up a second down of 10, but the clock stops with 219. Yeah, Cooper, a little eight-yard comeback route that time, and Jalen was like shortstop to first with a throw that time, just too much on the ball. He hummed it in there, but uh, through the hands. Uh, check that. That was Morgan, intended receiver there. Cooper's 29, Morgan there 25. So we'll get it sorted out here. This time Morgan goes to the right side. Burns in slot formation. Flanord to the near side. As Lyles takes the low snap, steps back. Going to throw it out there, intended for Burns. It's going to be picked off. Now to the far sideline. Oh, what a block. Wow. There. And down the far sideline after the pickoff. Breaks two tackles, still running, and now will step out of bounds across the way. Wow, Cooper, that's just a timing route, and Jalen let that ball go a little bit early, but again, that's another time where Tallahassee was in a two-deep coverage and nowhere to go with the ball. They come down with a big interception. 31-16 to 16 the score, and Tallahassee will take over. They can run the clock out here at Volunteer Stadium. No Ball's timeouts getting, left. Ball's getting next week off and a chance to get some of these guys healed up. I think that could help a lot. If you can get Taylor back and Browning and JoJo Staples and Tuck and be with a, your full array of talent in a couple of weeks. Well, I talked with some of the coaches this earlier today, Tommy. They plan on giving this bunch off Monday and also probably next Friday. Give them a chance to get away uh, from practice for a day or so, refresh their minds and their bodies, and hopefully get everybody healed up. Yeah, that's, that's it. And I think they're going to get a little break here and just have an opportunity to, like you said, refresh. And hopefully next week we'll be out here and a lot stronger when we see them in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And you know, we talked about it in the first half. I think some of this was mental tonight. They just didn't seem prepared to play this game, didn't seem like they was in it to start with. But the second half, been an entirely different story. But, you know, and I'll say like we did last week, you saw some bright spots. Sometimes you, you, you feel like this team could – here's Baines coming to the near side. Tyler Smith will ride him down at the 45-yard line, gain of a couple. <laughs> when, you only, when you got a one-horse staple, I guess that's all you can ride. Uh, that's exactly right. Like you see, I mean, I would like to know, and I'm hoping to find out tomorrow uh, when you look at the stats, did this team gain 25 yards outside of Baines? Yeah, if they got 400 yards of total offense, Baines got 350 of it. Exactly. I, I mean, I'll be shocked. I'm, if, I'm just using that as a figure, if, but it's close. Yeah, if the offense gained 30 or 40 yards outside of Baines' efforts tonight, I will be totally shocked. He goes up the middle this time, goes left side, gain of a couple. But, you know, something, and again, we're setting up here. I question continue to feed him the football yeah. here yeah. when you know you've got to have him for another five yeah. ball game. It's like you said, if that's your one horse in your stable, uh, about time to let him go and sit in the barn for a little while. You're exactly right. Because, uh, you know. Don't take a chance. I mean, this guy, you've got, you've got five more games to play in the regular season. And you sure would like for this guy to be on the field. At this point, you know you got this one won by his play clock or game clock, rather, runs on down. They'll pitch it back to Baines, cuts it back against the grain, comes near side. He's going to get a block. He turns the corner. 45, breaks a tackle, Look still on his feet. Look at this. And finally steps out of bounds. 
I hope our camera angle done justice to the way he kept his balance and tight rope for another 12 yards after contact. I am amazed. This guy has been unbelievable here tonight. I got a new hero. I'm telling you, Brandon Baines is just awesome, awesome, outstanding football player. He is fun to watch. Folks at Tallahassee, very fortunate to get a chance to watch this guy play the game of football. And like you said, senior this year, where has he been? Yeah. And, and they, I'm sure they got more around him. Uh, if they got another running back or two like that, this could be an offense that can't yeah. be stopped. Yeah, you're exactly right. They will take the knee right here. And that will wind things up here at Volunteer Stadium. Tallahassee Tigers come in tonight. You hate to use the word dominate, but they really took it to the Vols. From the very first series, it's been all Brandon Bain's show. So, uh, you know, first meeting in history between these two schools, and, and Tallahassee gets the leg up tonight. They will win 31 to 16. We're going to take this time out. Come back with the Southern Union post-game wrap-up right here on Balls Football on WAXC TV. Looking for a reliable mid to late model vehicle at an affordable price? Hallman Automotive of Lionel can help you with several lending options to get you the best rates and with low payments on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Credit problems? No worries. Hallman can get you financed. Hallman also has Graceland Portable Buildings and many options with financing available and no credit check. Need work done? Count on Hallman Automotive and Transmission. Certified ASC technicians with 25 years experience in business. Alignments, brakes, transmissions, tires, and much more. Count on Hallman Automotive for all your auto needs. A hometown business with hometown people you can deal with. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom. Cabinets Direct. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful, Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Get Gravely lawn equipment and more at Abernathy Farm Supply in Alexander City. Lake Martin Vein and Laser Center specializes in all things vein and laser oriented. Our physicians treat varicose veins and spider veins. We also utilize laser technology for things such as hair removal, tattoo removal, laser skin tightening, and laser facial peels. Wouldn't you like to see those unsightly varicose veins or spider veins disappear? Remove that dark, unwanted hair or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. Most procedures are done in 15-minute sessions. Visit our website at lakemartinvein.com or call our office today at 256 256 one two ninety three hundred. Telepisa Ford on Highway 280 in Alex City has delivered new Fords for 35 years. Need fuel efficiency with style? See the best selection of 13 Ford Fusions delivering 38 MPG in a new stylish package. Check out the Hybrid C Max crossover now on the lot, offering roomy comfort with an amazing 47 MPG rating highway and city. Hello, this is Jeff Smith with Telepisa Ford. I'd like to welcome you to our dealership and experience our low pressure sales. With non commissioned salespeople, our sales force is here to serve you. Visit Telepisa Ford Highway 280 Alex City. If we don't have it, we'll get it guaranteed. In a world that's ever-changing, you have to be sure that your choices are the right choices. At Central Alabama Community College, you'll know you made the best choice. We understand that you need the best educational opportunities. Whether choosing a technical degree program, taking courses to transfer to a four-year college or university, or being a part of our national championship winning traditions, Central Alabama will provide you with courses and degree programs in tune with today's workplace. Get a sharper focus on your life by choosing one of our three convenient locations, Alex City, Childersburg, and Talladega. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Back at Volunteer Stadium, final score 31-16. It is Tallahassee coming in and handing the Vols their third loss of the season. Welcome you into the Southern Union State Community College postgame wrap-up. Tommy Wood, Jeff Coburn. As we take a look at this game, Jeff, as you said, 
from the beginning of the game to the end, it was all talented. It really was, and we've talked so much about Brandon Baines and the offense. Uh, it, we may have neglected the outstanding effort that the defensive guys uh, put on. The guys up front uh, for Tallahassee, and we've talked about them during the ball game. Brown, Rivers, Graham, and that line by linebacking core, they have been solid all night long and not letting Jalen Lyles and the rest of these volunteer backs go anywhere. But one thing, there's several things I'm impressed with with these Tigers, Tommy. Number one, we talked about the complication of the offense and how well it's executed in the discipline, but also the sportsmanship. You have not seen any taunting, any unsportsmanlike, uh, anything close to an unsportsmanlike penalty uh, just from both sides of the field. Coach Herity, Coach Battle's got to be proud of their kids. They really do, and, and they're meeting out here at midfield. You see that there on your screen. And these two teams uh, have earned a lot of respect for each other, that Tallahassee team. I tell you, they're, they're leaving with my respect here tonight. And uh, But, you know, I want to say something. You know, the Vols in the first half really, you hate to say slept walk through the first half, but that's kind of what it looked like. But in the second half, you saw a spark. You saw this team start to pick up and make some things happen. And, uh, you know, they didn't walk away and just quit and give it up. They, they really tried to battle back. So, again, it shows the character this team has as well. And that's one thing that we've spoke highly of is the effort and the determination that these kids give you here on a Friday night. Uh, just a dominated, again, is a word you're not really looking for, but uh, just outplayed the whole ball game, but they never gave up. They kept fighting back, and, and there's been sparks like it was last week. You see some positive things that this offense is beginning to improve. They're picking up and getting better at things, and they're going to continue to improve. And got a lot of young guys, and again, a lot of uh, starters out of the lineup on both sides of the ball tonight. So uh, a lot of work to do, but they got a couple of weeks to get that done. That'll, uh, again, uh, wrap up this segment of the Southern Union State Community College postgame wrap-up. We'll come back in our Young's Drugstore Player of the Game as we continue. Vols football continues in a moment. Young's Drugstore has proudly served the citizens of Lineville and the surrounding areas for more than 50 years, providing fast, friendly service. At Young's Drugstore, you're more than just a number, which is why we strive to always greet you with a warm hello and friendly smile. Young's Drugstore offers a convenient drive through window, prescription compounding, vaccination services, and after-hours emergency availability to better serve you. Young's Drugstore now even has the convenience of viewing and refilling your prescriptions online at youngsdrugstorellc.com. Young's Drugstore, located on Highway 9 in Lineville, 256-396-5. Five, six, three, two. For top quality sales and top quality service to back it up, look no further than Chainsaw Sales and Service on Highway 9 in Goodwater. Get the best names in chainsaws, trimmers, and mowers. Steel. A leading brand in chainsaws and lawn equipment. Hustler. The top selling zero turn lawnmower. At Chainsaw Sales and Service, you not only get the best product available, you can count on Jackie and his staff to provide the best service around for all your small engine needs from parts to service. Contact Chainsaw Sales and Service at 256 839 66 what a great tradition, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with decisions on brand name Delta faucets and custom shower system. Make sure you pick up the heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 Coolers, Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dadeville Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is now selling and servicing cell phones, iPads, and tablets. Depot Computer also sells and services computers, laptop, and desktop, accessories, virus protection. Get them cleaned up now. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Depot Computer, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mike Coleman about a car loan that can save you hundreds may know them from high school, from the local grocery store, or even your own neighborhood. These local teens have embarked on a new journey, one that begins at Southern Union State Community College. Visit suscc.edu forward slash journey to see the life's journey these students have planned. 
We believe that you have an amazing journey ahead of you too. And Southern Union is the perfect place to begin at an affordable price close to home. Southern Union, where the journey begins. Back at Volunteer Stadium, final score tonight, 31 to 16. It's the Southern Union State Community College postgame wrap-up. Tommy Wood and Jeff Coburn as we say goodbye to the first half of the season. The Vols are going to finish up two and three after the first five games. And Jeff, a tough loss here tonight to Tallahassee. And we always try to look for our, our bright spot. And that's to try to find our, our player of the game named by Young's Drugstore. And I think you and I are in agreement tonight. It's DJ Ford who really came up big. Yeah, the junior and this this coach's staff sees a lot of great things from this kid over the next uh, season and a half. It's 6'2", 185 pounds. Got some growing to do. Going to put on a little bit of weight. But not only what he's doing uh, defensively from that safety position, but what he did tonight from a receiver standpoint. Went up and got a couple of big balls. One to keep a drive going and one to finish it off in the end zone. So I think D.J. Ford earned that right tonight. And a lot to look forward to in the next uh year and a half with his kid. That's right. DJ Ford, our Young's Drugstore player of the game. We will take next week off and come back uh, in two weeks with more volunteer football. Final score again tonight, 31 to 16. It is Tallahassee over the Central Volunteers. For Jeff Coburn, I'm Tommy Wood saying so long. See you next time. Balls football on WAXC TV.